Bucharest. From Bucharest. <laughs> Again, so we just we had go. our lovely yeah. morning coffee. By the way, a latte and a cup like this, I could go for a coffee cup. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we are back in Bucharest. I've got my brand new Rapid, Forza Rapid jersey on. Because yesterday, Ivana and I went to the Rapid game at the new stadium. New stadium. So tomorrow's video will be a uh, Rapid video part two. And I really want to start the live stream by saying this. Hopefully you guys can hear us, and hopefully you guys can let us know where you're watching from in the chat. But first things first, we are back in Romania now. We've got at least a month ahead of us, so please get to the comments and let us know what you'd like to see us do. By the way, very windy day out it's here. It's a windy day here. Wind Loud has, and clear. The hey wind has guys, totally okay. compromised the structural integrity of my hat. Oh, Shavulon is here. Part Hello. hat, part blindfold today. So, let's see if we can pull it off. But listen! Um, let us know what you want to see us do in the comments because we have a car, we are on a road trip, we are going all around Romania, lots of good stuff. So if you're not the type of person who comments, at least go to the comments and thumbs up something someone else commented <laughs> because we will do the things you are Suggesting. saying. Yeah. Um, if you guys have been following our channel, the past two weeks we've been uploading a video every day, releasing as many videos as we can as a way to catch up so that we could live stream and post videos from Romania at the same time because we want your suggestions. Uh, we've got some mushroom picking happening, uh, already filmed, ready to be uploaded soon, living off the grid. We've done some road trip around Oradia and yeah. Alba Iulia. Tomorrow we are going to a winery, lots of good stuff. But let <laughs> us know what you'd like to see us do because... Uh, we yes. are here Listen. and we are loud and clear. So everyone is welcoming us back here to Romania. So thank you, thank you guys. Hello everyone on the chat. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys watching from? I want to know. Uh, I think most are in Romania, right? Uh, Cho, hello Cho. How are you guys doing? By the way, it's a very windy day today. Super windy. Kind of scary. Sometimes <laughs> the wind blows so hard, I think these uh, these umbrellas oh, are going to fall over on us. Shahulon. So we uh, had some uh, wind so intense, the sign was going to fall over. <laughs> He's asking, are you guys going to eat soon? I think so. Yes, we haven't had any breakfast or lunch yet, so... Maybe oh. on the live stream we'll go get some food. Maybe we'll get walk around now. Get some food soon. Uh, the old town here in Bucharest yeah. is a great place to walk around yeah. and look at people and architecture yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Maybe we'll go for a walk to now. interact with the people here. Of course. I love it when we... Okay, let's walk around, guys. Oh, someone's watching from Singapore there. Singapore oh, and morning, Malaysia and, and we had some Brazil in the chat. We got 50 people already. I think we should start beginning some good numbers. We've got a good audience here in Romania. So, this is some of our first memories of Romania, actually. Because when we first got here last year, we came to... Eucharist, and we went to this restaurant here, Ivana. That's the restaurant we went to. The really famous one there. Ivana thinks the famous restaurant is over here. Yeah. Let us know in the chat. Which one is the super famous restaurant? No, it's Ivana. It's that one there. The really old famous restaurant. The old one. The, let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure it's this way, Ivana. I'm almost positive. This is where we went with Kathleen. Oh my gosh, we are already getting... Uh, Tons of nice comments. Hello, Steve and Ivana. I am from Malaysia. Shout out to Asmadi Elias. Hello, how are you? If you're going to the north, it's very cold. Listen, last time we were here, Ivana oh. and I got sick. Oh, super chat. Super chat from Shaolin. For breakfast or dinner. Oh, it will thank be you. it will be our breakfast, our first yes. meal of the day. Yes. Although it's more uh, like lunchtime. Sha, I have a question for Sarah. If uh, you are still in Malaysia, or have you gone back? Uh -huh. Home, but I don't know where home is. Shout out to Shaw. Thank you for the super chat. It's super helpful for us. Very, very helpful. Now, as I was saying, uh, the first time we were here, Yvonne and I got sick for a week. And we were like mm -hmm. nervous it was COVID and had to do the home test, all this stuff. And then after that week of being sick, we went to Brashov and it was a little cold. And I maybe overreacted because I was feeling <laughs> sick and I was feeling achy bones. And so we are planning a... Brashov. Brashov Redemption. We've got boots, we've got pants, long johns, <laughs> you name it. Heated blankets. We're not going to complain about the uh, cold weather. So we will be going to the north and we will be in the cold and we will not be complaining about it. Shout out to We in the chat. Hello. Shout out to Scarfo in the chat. Uh, Shahulan has gone back to Michigan. Ah, uh, alright. Back to home okay. in Detroit, Michigan. Nice. 
I think there's a lot maybe of Romanians in Michigan because we met a uh, Romanian just yesterday from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. He said there's a lot of Romanian community in Michigan. Now, Ivana, tell me this is not the restaurant we ate at. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, I don't believe this lady. <laughs> That's where we ate with Catalina. No, it's not that one. I remember that building. I oh, yo, yo. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, there you have it, guys. So let's walk around the old town with you guys and let's uh, see if we can get some good ideas for vlog ideas because we've got so much coming in Romania. We've already got the rental car. We've already been from Cluj, as you saw in our video, to Oradia, to Alba Iulia, yeah. to back to Bucharest now. Yeah. So we've got a few videos that are already filmed and will be posted and yeah. then we'll be constantly filming, going to a winery. Just after this Just one. after this, we're going to a winery. <laughs> yeah, in nearby Bucharest. Sounds good. Yeah. Ivana Ooh. did a great job hooking it up. Are you meeting the dodos? Uh, unfortunately, the dodos are not in Romania. They are in Asia still. They're in Asia. They're actually in Indonesia. Uh, so they are in my home country while we are in their home country, which is funny. Which is quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the dodos are in your home yeah. and you're in their home. Yeah. And you're wearing, you're wearing Romanian we're, clothes. We're switching. You guys remember this? And I bet you Gigi right now is wearing some sort of Indonesian shirt. <laughs> you guys are really switching. Oh, it's like Mike and I are doing a wife swap. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this, this live stream back on the rails. <laughs> uh, shout out. Uh, Shah says, when I will be coming back to Malaysia when you are back in KL. Cool. All right. How much is the rental car per day from Kim 10? Really good price. 25 euros a day. 25 euros a day. Which I think is a really yeah. good price because it's a pretty new car. It's got some scratches yeah. on it. It's a rental car, but 25 euros is pretty good. I will say, I don't know what the fuel prices was last time in Romania, but the I fuel prices more, no? is, it seems a lot. Yeah. To fill up our car, uh, it costs like 80 Canadian, which is like yeah. 60 American. Yeah. Is I that think, a lot? I think prices have gone up in general here in Romania. Even yeah. accommodation is like double the price. Uh, I think most accommodations here in Romania. So I think everything has gone up. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Anyway, we're glad to be back. Uh, we've got a lot yeah, of good stuff chat. planned. Let's see the chat. You want? You want to be in charge? Go ahead. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's read the chat here. I tend to. Welcome uh, I to, tend to forget it's a live stream. Yeah. I just want to do vlogs because people wanna... like to interact with okay, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I think. We're gonna look for some food here in the old town. I don't know if you guys been in the old town. Very traditional outfit for Ivana. Nice. Thanks, all video. Uh, what should we eat here in the old town? Plenty of restaurants all we can around. around and we'll see something nice. Yeah, let's go. Somewhere quiet with no music, and I could go for a little bit of sunshine on the seat. Yeah. Because Where is this? Like summer, to be honest. Uh, this is in the old town of Bucharest. Bucharesti. So we have actually last year did a video here of our first impressions of Bucharest. Yeah. The Dodos. I think Marian Adventures might be here. We're gonna reach out to all of our Romanian friends. Yeah. Here. Yeah, all of our friends <laughs> are, are not in Romania. I think Marion might be here. I've seen a video from him recently picking mushrooms. Hopefully we'll meet up with someone. We have so many Romanian friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, someone was... Oh, someone was... Uh, actually, Pikachu is asking, have you visited Fishkri? How do you say that word? Fishkri? I think I'm saying it right. How's it spelled? V I S C R I. That's that's the little town where the king, where where the new King Charles have a new, not new, have a has property in that village. Oh, we're going there. Yeah, we're going there. We have a plan to stay at the, the King Charles's home uh, village or uh, yes. estate. We were invited to stay in a. King Charles Estate, so we'll be there soon. I cannot wait. Okay, how much do you love Romania, Steve, from Harry Harry? Uh, we came back. <laughs> I mean, we were here last year this time. That's right? true. If we didn't, if we don't like it, we wouldn't be here right now. So we'll like it Look at quite here. a lot. It's yeah. So nice right now. Yeah, right. The sun is just on a low angle. 
The architecture is amazing. Yeah. People are drinking beer even though it's only noon. <laughs> 1 p.m. <laughs> What's not the like? I would sit right here somewhere. This scene looks so good. Yeah, this is good. Someone, someone is recommending a brutal pancakes. The be, the best pancakes in Bucharest. Is it that cart over there? I don't know where it is. What is it? I don't know where is it. Is it a green cart? Over here there was no. a green cart that said Bucharest pancakes. Uh, I could go for more like a restaurant though. Yeah, you're right. Sit down, have some breakfast. Yeah. Uh, you guys can visit Severin. There's a water castle there. Wow. That sounds good. Okay, let's go around and look for a place to eat first. And then we will read all of your comments. Give me a minute. Here, Steve, take over. Let me look for a place. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. I like to sit in the sun because it's a little bit cold. I was going to say, let's sit in the sun because I'm dressed like it's summertime. Look at these four guys sitting here having a beer. Oh, it looks so good. Maybe at the end of this section here, we can be out of everybody's way. We can talk to the camera. I mean, it looks right, no, Ivana? Good. Where are you going? I was gonna say right here, or is it too early for the chat? You wanna walk a bit more? Wanna walk around a bit? Oh, I was thinking like this, like the end of this line of tables. Is it okay for you? I mean, it looks amazing here. Look at this site here. And what's great is this is pretty much, um, I would say the prices here, even though it's like amazing scenery, the prices are cheaper than Canada prices. Yeah, still. It's still cheaper. It's still gonna be three bucks for a beer, maybe four. Canada and this this location it would be 10 bucks from here yeah. or at least eight so we are loving it this is for your drink Shahulan again in the chat yo I think Shahulan is our number one uh oh hello I wasn't filming you guys okay let me spin it around <laughs> they were waving but I had it on me there you go say hi say hi say hi <laughs> these are my my friends here they were uh they were waving at us but I had the camera backwards <laughs> nice guys okay cool uh, Sha I think Shahulan is officially the number one donator. Oh, thank you, Sha. We got you, uh, money for the first drinks. You want to sit right here? Is that yeah. okay for you? I think it's pretty good. Maybe sit beside me on this side. Sure. More beautiful. I think we can put the camera like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let me get to your uh, comments because... Oh, that was... Music too loud? Okay, let's bail. <laughs> Keep walking. All right, we're making it up as we go on the uh, live chat here. Ivana wants to walk around a little more. Let me... Um, get through some of these comments here you guys can visit Severin there's a tower called the water castle okay we'll look into it I just googled the weather it says we it's about 20 degrees Celsius nice yeah it's uh, really perfect weather it's not too hot it's not too cold today is quite windy which is a bit of a bummer but uh, the temperature is just right it's uh, what a place to be. And the sun is on that low angle from the autumn. Absolutely great. Let's find somewhere quiet, babe. What this? Aubergine healthy food. Uh, healthy food? Maybe not my favorite right now. Wow. How did you get the Rapid shirt? So yesterday, Yvonne and I went to the Rapid game. We saw our Rapid Bucharestis. In the new we stadium? We saw them in the new stadium and they won 2-1, to one, which is great. So that video will come tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow you'll see the Rapid uh, video. And naturally I had to buy the shirt because <laughs> Rapid Soccer is the actual team and the event that started my interest in football. Oh, the yeah, first yeah. ever football match I've ever seen. Yeah, ever. And still the best fans ever was That's Rapid. That's true, I think so too. Just crazy fans. So we went to the game yesterday and got the shirt and saw another Rapid victory. Yeah. I think we're the good luck charm. We've seen two games, we've seen two wins. Yeah. Thank you very much. Although this year, Rapid although, is top of yeah. the table. Although they're actually pretty good. They're killing the it this year. We're winning every uh, game. Maybe. Maybe go back? Okay, Ivana wants to go back yeah. to where we started. Uh, the sun is nice here. That's what I like about this seat. The sun is very good. Um, others are wearing long pants. Ivana is wearing short pants. Yeah. Uh, love from Karachi, Pakistan. Shout out to Ab Adil Raiz. Hello, Karachi. What is the favorite beer in Romania from Kim Tan? Uh, it depends. So the thing is, they've got so many ancient beers. So many beers. If you're from Brashov, you might drink Shwikis, which yeah. is the Brashov beer. If yeah. you're from Timishwara, you might drink Timishwarana. So I think it goes city by city because like, it seems like all the big cities have their own beer. Yeah. They I bet you, I bet you each Pelusia city has their own have beer. their own beer. I bet you Bukhareshi has their own beer. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the actual favorite for the whole place, it might be Chuk. That's the most Chuk. common one we've seen. C-I-U-C, it's spelled Chuk. Yeah. That might be the most common one. Oh, there's a hard piece here. Maybe it's 
don't know. In the end, let's sit and uh, let's sit and have a drink, Ivana, because it is like 1:15, so it's about it's about beer time here in uh, Romania or or Ursus. Yeah, that's another really common beer, Ursus, yeah. which this means problem, which means bear. This is the problem with COVID. What's the problem? All the menus are. We need to scan all the menus now. Oh, they have only electronic menu. And, and we only have one phone. Is, the phone is the camera. <laughs> Oh, okay, I have, to order by, I have to order by memory. Let's see if they have a hardcover book, paper, <sighs> menu. copy menu. Okay, I like this seating arrangement. I like this camera angle. I am feeling good. Uh, Harvey Handy, can you please read my message on Instagram? Private message when you have time. Okay, oh, we'll try. Cool. We do get a lot of messages, but we will, uh, we will try. Oh, that's so funny. People think I have Ukrainian descent. It is oh, really? Steve of Rom Romanian descent. <laughs> That's so much time in Romania. Is Steve of Romanian descent? No, I'm Canadian with Scottish descent. Is English commonly used in Romania from HKC yes. Chan? Almost everyone uh, can speak English. Especially except, the younger people. Except uh, if you're really going into like really, really rural, rural villages. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, the older people. They sure. don't really speak English. But yet. it's not difficult. Yeah. Compared to the countries we've been to, it's not one of the more difficult countries. No, no. It's, it's been pretty, pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I've got a long comment here. At the border between Romania and Serbia, there's a spectacular landscape where the Danube meets the Carpathians. I uh, would like to go there. Maybe on the. Looks uh, good. Maybe on the road trip we can make it there. We've already been circling around Romania on the car. It's not. We, we don't have a, a very efficient road trip. It's it's east west back to east back to west back to north back to south back to east back to north back to right. south. So we can hopefully see everywhere. Okay. So because it's we're super free uh, this, in terms of this Balusk sculpture. Yeah, okay. we'll check it out. Shout out to Zaki Rana. On Plenty the chat. of Romanians in Michigan from Shahulan. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, because uh, we met a couple already. Zaki Rana in the chat. Hey, Stefan, uh, hope you're doing well. Shout out to Zaki. Uh, we are definitely doing great. Glad to be back in Romania. Uh, Thank visit... you. Thank you to Bogdan. Bogdan Atrut. Yes. Visit Bikaz Gorges, ah. Bacau Lake, and Sturza Castle. Sturza Castle. Sturza. Okay, we'll try. Um, we really have no plan. The only thing we have set in stone is tomorrow we're going to a winery in Bucharest. Yeah, There's not today actually, here. after this. Today after this, we're going to go there yeah. and stay there for a couple of days. Ivana has arranged a nice uh, winery stay. Ooh. She wants to wine and dine. <laughs> uh, shout out to a unicorn in the chat who has just woken up. Hopefully we can see unicorn in a, maybe a couple of weeks when we go to Serbia. Or a month or so when we go to Serbia. Bump into unicorn would be cool. This is our number one most loyal Serbian subscriber. Hello from London. Ah, someone from London. Shout out to London. Temperature there now. Uh, it's about 20 degrees, so it's pretty good. But it's super windy. The wind today is a bit of a bummer, but if it wasn't for the wind, it would be perfect weather. Yeah. We've got 130 in the chat, going pretty good. We've got some good donations. Glad to be back at Romania. <laughs> Thank you for all the love, guys. I think our future travel plans on YouTube will be some of our favorite countries every year mm -hmm. as well as always having new ones in the middle yeah. to spice it up yeah so romania is on the list we might come back every year i'd like to see christmas in romania although we won't be doing that this time <laughs> this time we can't stay for that long yeah. so a month or two, i would love to and then we'll be on the go it's just the cold i don't like cold <laughs> uh me neither very bad canadian uh, let's see here oh evidently i'm allergic to something in the fall me too. Usually my allergies are the spring. Maybe I'm allergic to all these FCSB fans in the chat. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, you know I what? I all day. What I like about Romanians though, they can take insults. Romanians can take insults Absolutely. very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can be you can be critical of the country or something. Yeah. You can say something bad, they're not going to be defensive. No. Very non-defensive people. It's yeah, Romanian. I love true. Romania. If you say this thing I don't like about Romania, they go, yeah, me too. They're yeah, like, or, or they'll laugh. Yeah, they'll laugh. They go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very easygoing people. Yeah. Um, yeah, true. They don't take themselves right. too seriously. True fact. Uh, Steve from Robert, please visit Cortia de Argus, the first capital of Romania. It's two hour by car from Bucharest. Cool. We'll look into it. Please, guys, in the live stream, <laughs> in the live chat or in the comments, let us know what you want to see us do. We've got a month of time. 
and we might have the car the whole time because uh, if you guys remember last trip, mm -hmm. we planned on getting the car for 10 days and we ended up having it for more than three weeks. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, we rented the car for two weeks this time, so we who rented knows? it for two weeks, it'll probably be a month because <laughs> the Romanian road trip is so good. <laughs> We've got some really nice drone shots and some really nice scenery. It's a really nice local experience talking to local people. Right. I mean, it's just such a, such a fun place for a road trip because it uh, it's just an adventure every day. <laughs> From BBU, I didn't know why I felt a good energy lately. And it's because we're in Romania. Yay, back. thank you. We back. We back. <laughs> So thanks for welcoming us back, guys. We're uh, glad to be back. Oh shout God. out to I am Meow. I miss you guys. She's saying, Aw, thank you. Um, all right. I think no one is coming. I think here. we gotta go up and order inside. <laughs> Do you think so? Maybe. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go look into it. That's the one thing about Romania when the service in a restaurant. They're sort of indifferent to you. <laughs> They're not concerned if you have a good experience or not. Yeah, even when we're, uh, if we want to pay, they'll take maybe 30 minutes to come and bring us the bill. <laughs> yeah, if you say, can I have the bill? It takes, it takes, it, we, just, we joke around. When they bring their food, we should say, when they bring their food, can I have the bill now? Because <laughs> yeah. half an hour later, the bill comes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go inside and look into it. I, I think he's probably on his way here, to be honest. Okay. It's not really... Or do you wanna walk around some more? I'm kinda hungry. Okay, so? How's the wind noise? Do you guys have wind noise? Are we sitting in a good spot for uh, a wind noise? Are you in Bucharest now? Yeah, we're in Bucharest. You know, we're in Bucharest. Were you guys in Turkey before coming to Romania? Yeah, yes. yeah. We were in Turkey for only two weeks. We had so much editing to do. We did all of our work and we only made a few videos. Yeah, yeah. We love it though. And uh, I think we'll come back. We'll go back to Turkey. I think so. Yeah. It'd be a nice place to explore. Yeah. Uh, shout out to I am Meow, another member in the chat. People loving Ivona's dress, naturally. Ah, Very thanks. Romanian. Uh, does YouTube oh, tell many how many a, percentage? Someone in a wedding dress. Look. Oh, so nice. Oh, oh. very pretty. Good place to get married, old town. <laughs> Good place photos. Good place for memories. Uh, the question was: Does YouTube Go tell you how many Trevor. percentage of subscribers is Romanian? Yeah, definitely. We have an incredible amount of statistics YouTube keeps for you. Uh, I'm not sure the number off the top of my head, but I could definitely. Uh, Search for it. Someone says go uh, to Taverna Covaci. Okay, you gotta well, guide us. Hold on. Maybe. Is it? It's close to quiet. you. Quiet. What we need is low, low music so you guys can hear us. Buna, Buna, Steven, Ivana. Buna. Oh, by the way, I don't, uh, what is the difference between Buna and Salut? Because they're both hello or hi. You know, Buna means good, I think. No, Buna can also be used as hello or hi. But some uh, people say salute, some people say I think buna. buna is like good day almost, like buna, like good day, like good. Buna ah, means good. Okay. Like if, something goes, if something goes well, you can say buna, good. Hmm. Okay. And then salute is just hi. I All don't right. know. Still learning. <laughs> I just still say forte bine every time. <laughs> Romanians love if a non-Romanian person says forte bine. Buna go, hey, and salute is bine. the same thing, okay. okay. You're both right. Buna is personal, okay. Buna means hello and salute is the same thing. Okay, good. Okay, so we can say both and they would be right. The audio is not bad, but we you can hear the wind being here, so you can good. Okay, let us know about Taverna Kovaci. Maybe yeah, we'll go there that? if it's quiet. Rebecca, let us know if it's relatively quiet. Oh, we can check it, it out. It is quiet, it's yes. Okay, Gu guide us to Taverna Kovaci. Yeah, which because way? it turns out this place here doesn't... Uh, they're not really selling us anything. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. They're letting us be free, but they're also not... Uh, involved in yeah. us making this purchase. Anyway, let us know where Taverna Kovaci is. We are following your direction Let's now, go. Rebecca. Because uh, Shahulan has put some money in for us to... Don't forget your jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Shahulan has put money in for a drink, and so I owe her the, uh, the first drink. Okay, looking for... If you want to eat traditional. Okay, Ken. We can get meat and sarmale and chorba. You got here, Yo, Meech is good. Everyday Meech. It's just what you want. It's just meat and, and mustard, man. Buna, everyone, says I am Meow. That's a nice thing to see. A non-Romanian in the chat saying Buna, everyone. Because we just talked about what Buna means. 
<laughs> Shout out to I am Meow. <laughs> Good comment. <laughs> Good comment. Puna, everyone. Uh, okay, you guys, waiting. Go towards Sour Madrid store. You remember that shawarma place, that big one? Okay, go towards there. Uh, shawarma D store was the one we had with Catalina, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good shawarma, actually. But it was a bit expensive, to be honest. But I think that's the nature of uh, a really popular shawarma place. And really big shawarma, that one was. Hey, guys, are you coming to Cluj? Yes, we were in Cluj uh, a couple days ago. We have already moved on because we are traveling fast and we have so much to see and do. We do have a couple more videos from Cluj coming and more than willing to come back if we can get a good opportunity. Well, uh, we'll, we'll come back because we need to return the car in Cluj. Oh, good point. We rented our car from Cluj. So with certainty, we will be back at one point. But uh, like I said at the beginning of the live stream, uh, hit us with any sort of idea of what you want to see us do. Because if a lot of people want to see it, we will do it. We tend to find that there's good experiences to be had uh, all around Romania. So we're more than willing to go with the flow and let you guys dictate because I'm sure we'll enjoy it and have a good time. Uh, the wind is crazy. Yo, I feel like something's gonna fall and hit me in the head. Don't you feel like that? Some kind of sign is gonna come down and crash through. Oh, yo, yo, scary man. Okay, Rebecca, waiting for your direction to uh, uh, Taverna. Kovarchi, Kovachi. You should go to Salina Turda. So we did Salina Turda last time. Uh, we have a video from there already. If you're interested in seeing our experience at Salina Turda, you can search it up on YouTube. It will be there. Romania national team will play two games. Oh, both on Stadium Gulesti, which is uh, Rapid Stadium. Maybe you can, maybe that can interest you. Uh, that does interest me, actually. This is a good... This is a good idea. Shout out to the username Tired. We might look into this because Stadium Gulesti is Rapi Stadium, I believe, the one we were just in yesterday. And uh, it would be nice to see Romanian national team play. I know four players of Rapid are on the national team, so maybe we can look into that. Oh, sorry, I did it again. Yo, Ivana, I gotta stop guessing the gender of people's names. Did you know Shabulon was a him? Yes. I said her like three times already. Sorry, Shabulon. I did the same thing to Zaki uh, a couple couple months ago. Okay, sorry, Sha. That's uh, I've seen your name written so many times, and I just uh, I just think at this game of guessing genders. Okay, sorry, Sha. Uh, no worries, thanks. Uh, turn the camera. Hold on, hold on. Rebecca is giving directions. Rebecca is giving directions. Looking for this is a shawarma that we had. Uh, looking for something else for Rebecca. Go left. Up on the street. Up, up. This way's up. Turn back. Hold on, hold on. Is this the right way? Is this the right way, Rebecca? She said up the street, which sounds like this is more uphill. Rebecca, the tour guide. Go up. Okay, go up. So we got Ivana. We need to find a ladder. We have to go up. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Oh, check it out, guys. Um, from Bogdan. This time, please visit more of Moldova region of Romania. I can help you and even sponsor you with accommodations. Bikaz Lake, Bikaz Gorgeous. Okay, Ivana, we have to go to Mold. A very generous donation from Bogdan, who says uh, a bunch of good recommendations. Wow. So we have a car. We are willing to drive and we will contact you. What is the way to contact you, Bogdan? Should we Instagram message you or should we email you? Because if you have some good list of things for us to do, uh, you can really help us. Yeah. I think we should do it. Sure. I'm into it. Good. Okay, thank you very much, Bogdan. Uh, I am Meow is giving Bogdan a round of applause, which is very nice. Okay, you're on the right way. We got a double smiley face from Rebecca. So, so far so good. And big shout out to Bogdan. Uh, we will try to contact you when we go to Moldavia and we can definitely uh, follow your lead and make some hopefully very good videos and have some hopefully very good experiences. I will say this, I'm so hungry I would eat raw meat right now. I would eat raw meat with no mustard right now. You know what I mean? I drink the pickle juice. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yo, I'm straight up very hungry. <laughs> Uh, but what a nice place to walk, isn't this? A, by the way, Ivana, what day? Just, just in terms of feeling, Ivana, what day does it feel like? Sunday. It feels like Sunday today. It's. I think last night everyone went party. 
morning. Saturday uh -huh. night. Uh huh. Uh huh. And now everyone is waking up late, it's quiet. taking it easy. Yeah, people are having a, a coffee or even a beer in the morning. The sun is is bright, but still at a low angle, so it's not so hot. Uh, go right on the first street. Okay, right on the first street. Good job, Rebecca. But you're right, Yvonne. To me, it just feels like a Sunday. Uh, it really does. And so, guys, uh, because we were able to, because we were able to post a video every day for the past two weeks, we will be able to do a live stream every Sunday. Our experience on live stream is if you're live streaming from a country that's not the country your vlogs are in, yeah. it's very confusing for people. So we are officially caught up. We are oh, in right Romania. Here. We are vlogging Romania, and we are live streaming every Sunday. Yeah. So, see you next Sunday. We're not over yet, but I'm just saying in advance. Uh, next live stream, come next Sunday. I'm not sure what city we'll be in. Where will we be next Sunday? No idea. Sunday, I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you have a plan? No. I think I'll, my plan was going uh, before we go back to Cluj uh, to go to Fish Fisher's de Sus, where you can take that uh, steam engine train. I think oh, you guys know where it is, but the beautiful scenic was, steam train. Yeah, that, that was be my good idea. plan, but we might change it. I don't know. We'll see. Can yeah. Okay, Bole. Okay. So our anyway, plans are uh, flexible. As you guys will see from our channel, <laughs> Ivana does all the planning. Yeah. And I do all the editing. This yeah. is a, a one of the breakdowns. Yeah. So I can't tell you what we're going to do next. Even Yvonne is not 100% clear. <laughs> yeah. But my point I'm making is next Here's Sunday we will be yeah, live streaming. Not. Okay. So big shout out to Rebecca, the virtual tour guide. We have found Taverna Kovaci. Although the wind here is on another level. I think it's okay. I think down at the far end we can go away from everybody because we're going to be talking the whole time and maybe a little bit annoying if we sit here. We'll go at the far end and we'll get some... Um, some yum yums for our tum tums. Considering the first drink is on Shah, I think it's uh, very, very good. Thank you again to everybody who donated. As you guys know from following our channel, we are not doing any sponsorships, which Ivana is, is wearing me down. We might end up doing sponsorships one day. Yeah. Ivana is saying, just say yes, it's free money. But I just don't feel great about doing a sponsorship and selling a VPN or something. Was it here okay? Or we want to sit? And so my point is, Whenever you guys make a donation, it's really, really helpful to us because we are certainly leaving a lot of money on the table by not doing sponsorships. Man, does this jersey look amazing or what? <laughs> be honest, when you see me, just admit, when you see me in this, do you think I'm a professional athlete? Just be honest. <laughs> Boom, bye. Okay, guys, let's eat. Uh, now, let's see. Start the time now. <laughs> How long it takes for the people to come over. All right. Sometimes in Romania, it's... Uh, they look at you and they say, I'll get there yeah, when I get there. I'll get there when I get there, baby boy. Uh, did you go to Thermi in Bucharest? Yes. We did that last time. It's really, really nice. We might actually uh, go again because you want to love that Where? place. Remember Thermi? It's like the... Like the oh. You remember it? Yeah, it's yeah. like a spa. It's like a, got like palm trees in it. Yeah. It's cool. It's a cool place. Um, it's a cool place. Uh, does it say Sapuano on the back? So I got no name on the back and no number no. on the back. It's blank. Just say for Ollie. <laughs> Maybe one day I'm gonna put my Romanian name and my number. What on is the back. your Romanian name? Did I have one last time? I might have forgot. I don't know. Oh, I might have forgot my Romanian Stefan. name. Stefan. Oh no. Should be Stefan. I might have forgot my Romanian name. Hello. 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 Thank you. Okay, okay, good. Good. Okay, this good. One is very good. This is a good recommendation. Thank you very much to Rebecca. I'm gonna have a beer and meat to be honest. I already know. I don't even need the menu. Meat and beer, please. <laughs> oh, good menu. Good. Good. Good menu. Good menu. Okay. Um, okay, my, oh, my Romanian good. name is Stefan. <gasps> and Ifana. I might put Stefan on the back. Yo, oh. my gosh, it looks so good. They all oh look so good. Oh this is what you want right there. Sure about the border? Mitch. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Where? Which one? Hey, oh, shout out to one. Just Me in the chat. Long time follower. Oh, hello, hello. Shout out to Just Me. Are you getting this one? I'm getting Mitch, dude. Now, he's going to ask me how many Mitch I want, and I'm going to say. No, four. I think it comes with the. Two Meech. That picture has two Meech on it, yeah. which is who, who, who gets two Meech? 
What is that? Teas? Uh, I'll get four meach. Wait. Maybe they're big meach. I'll, I'll just follow his lead. I'm sure he's about helpful. One thing about Romania oh, is anchovies. the waiters and the waitresses are very helpful. Anchovies. Oh my gosh. Steve. Fried Favorite? anchovy. I never saw that in Romania. Just fried anchovy. Anchovies with polenta. Mama Liga. Polenta. Anchovies and polenta? That's a lot of anchovies. No good. Actually, you know what we're having a lot of recently? We didn't discover this. We should make a whole video about this food. What? We didn't discover it last time. It's the whole dish. It's just polenta, cheese, and sour cream. Mama Liga. They have it here. Mama Liga, right? Yeah, the whole dish is just polenta, which is like, if you imagine mashed potatoes, but instead of potatoes, it's corn. Mashed corn. And then cheese, which is amazing. And then sour cream on top. And it comes in like a, it comes in like a bowl. And even a spoon. Yeah. It's amazing food. After you eat it, you feel like having a nap, but it's good. really yummy. <laughs> yeah, uh, people are saying two meat is like, uh, just me is saying two meat is like sacrilege. I'm gonna go for four meat. Four meat and a beer. Just perfect. Hey, I was so proud of your reaction when you came back to Romania. You were so funny when you said meat. <laughs> uh, what is Romanian national food? Do you know? Uh, meat. It's gotta be meat. It's a good question from I am Meow. It's gotta be meat. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Or maybe Mamba Liga. Well, or maybe. Mamba Liga is like rice, just rice for uh, Romanian. You cannot make just. Oh, yeah, it's like a side dish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think Meech is it. The uh, fit official football shirts are so expensive. I hope the Rapid one wasn't that expensive. So the Rapid shirt was. This one was 230 lei. It's like 80. No, it's like 70 bucks Canadian. A bit less than that. So it's like 50 bucks American, 45 bucks American. Uh, kind of reasonable. I was thinking of buying a Rapid t-shirt, just cheaping out t-shirt for like 35 lei. But I was like, man, this is a team that started my passion for football. Mm -hmm. Which is still in its infancy stage. I don't know much about football. I'm still learning. But I mean, I can't go for a t-shirt. Ready for something to drink and eat, please. Good. Um, can I have a dun dun dun? I said I was ready and I wasn't ready. Steve, why you do this? Oh, this is a drink. Can I have a Carlsberg draft? One. Good. What do you want, Ivana? Let's see. And for food, can I have Mitch? Yeah. How many Mitch comes? Two. Only two. If you want, I can put three, four. Are they big Mitch? Like this. Maybe three meat. Okay. More better. And it comes with mustard. Mustard and potatoes, yes. Perfect. Fantastic. For drink. Maybe I will have... Maybe go for the one you like. Um, what is that? Uh, wild cherry. Oh, no, that's not alcoholic. Okay. But I mean the, the... Maybe I'll have a... Do you have house wine? Yeah. Red, white, or rosé? A red. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you want to eat, Ivan? I think I will have this. Okay. Chicken, white sauce with mushrooms. Okay. No, actually, I'll have this one. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that looks even better. Yeah. Pork meat in Greece? <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. And Good you want to try also some typical drink made from cherry? We drink before food. Yeah. This okay. is what I'm talking about. You want mm. you like. Oh. It's like a liqueur. Yes, yes. Yeah, bring that, sure. Okay. Thank you. What's the more difference? Good. Oh, is, more good. More good, yeah, this is the good one. That's all, yeah? Yeah, uh, that's it? That's yeah. it, perfect. Thank you, Thank you very okay. much. You're welcome. Boom, bye. This is more good. <laughs> and that is how you order food in Romania. So that's what I was trying to tell you, the wild cherry thing. They make a, a liqueur, very sweet, put in a shot glass, and it, um, and it's from cherry and it tastes like heaven. Yeah. And it's good uh, for food because you get the sugar and you get the alcohol and it makes you digest. From cherry, it's called, I forgot what it's called. Suica? Fineta? Suica? Fineta? Suica? No, that's Tuica. Fineta, I think. I forgot. But Fineta. it's very good. Uh, cheers, guys. And from also, Shai. I need something to warm my body up because it's getting kind of cold. There's no sun here. Yeah, no sun here. So that's why I ordered wine. Uh, stuffed cabbage is my favorite food. <laughs> stuffed cabbage is very good. By the way, I like your hat. Yo, this hat is. It's like a mainstay. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it's cold. I don't need it because it's oh, so good for the. Look at the photo shoot behind us. Oh, wedding photo shoot right there. Ooh. Bro, what more the do you want? The guy's in a pink suit. Very nice. I Yo. like it. Ooh. Oh. oh yeah, get in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. No sound effects. That's not appropriate. 
<laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the cold when the hat is not see? good because uh, cherry vicinata cherry, cherry. depends on the flavor. Yeah. Uh, the hat is so good for the YouTube thumbnail because it's so like it's so big, you know. <laughs> Although it's losing, it, it's been in the washing machine too many times because it's doing a lot of this action here, which is not ideal. You're gonna have my hat soon. Uh, I have one too. Yeah, but your big hat is not as cool as my big hat. <laughs> I love this big hat, but uh, we are prepared for the cold. I have a winter hat, I have boots, I have pants. It's gonna be good. Yeah. That's what it was. Vichinata. Sour cherry. Yeah. So what's what's Tuika then? Tuika is like palinka. But I think it's more, uh, what do you, what's the term? Filter? No, filter. Stilt? Stilt. Just stilt, yeah. It's even stronger? I think so. Than, than Palinka? I think so. Ooh. That's plums. I, 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 maybe you guys can let us know what's the difference between Tuika and Palinka. Your hat is your trademark, true. I think when the winter comes, I'm going to have to somehow get this hat, and then on top of this hat, put a winter hat. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Two hats. The winter hat on top. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm going to do that. Because it just feels like it's me now. This hat is a part oh, of me. Palinka is stronger than Tuika. Palinka is stronger than Tuika. Yeah. So Tuika is the, is the uh, only once distilled. And then you take Tuika and distill it again to make mm. Palinka. Maybe that's the idea. Palinka, palinka is, is more strong. strong. Okay, yeah. I will say this. Uh, I've been drinking Palinka sometimes because um, as I progress past the age of 30, my body begins to accumulate <laughs> fat cells in the belly area. And so beer sometimes, I just go, I can't have a beer right now, I feel fat. A little bit of palinka, mm, it's very satisfying. Very good. Especially the homemade palinka, when, when it comes from a bottle that's just a glass bottle. Uh-huh. Like not a palinka bottle. Uh-huh. Like homemade stuff. Homemade stuff. They pour you a little bit. Very relaxing, <laughs> very smooth, and very light. Time to start selling Jet Lag Warriors merchandise. merchandise. <laughs> so we, the first merch we should sell is a hat like this that says oh, yeah. JLW on the front. We should. But Ivana, it's got to be a good hat because this one's got the. It's got a, It's. Well, you can have a hat like this that just doesn't who, who, function. We gotta go back to where you bought this and ask them. Hey. We gotta go back to Peru, <laughs> get robbed again, lose everything. No, no. Oh, not, not getting robbed this time. Uh, I can sell this hat as a as a JLW yeah. hat, but we gotta get a good manufacturer where it's quality. This is a good good hat. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I, think that I would also sell. like to sell. Good idea, sure. It's a good idea. I would also like to sell a football jersey, JLW football jersey. Because <laughs> sure. every video I'm wearing a football jersey. It seems like I'm wearing cricket imagine, jersey from Pakistan you own, or football jerseys. Imagine you own a football club one day in Canada. Yo, if <gasps> I had, Soga FC. Yo, oh. if I had some good money, like real money, I would buy a Division Three or Division Four, some low level football team <laughs> and then just start investing in it. It'd be so fun to play with it. And then you can, cause in, in football, so much better than hockey or American football, where if your team is good, you go to the next league. So you could take a no-namer organization and slowly go up over 10 years, build a new stadium and go up more and, build, and then eventually be division one and be playing against, you know what I mean? Rapid and playing against Prestige, the top division. Whereas if you buy a hockey team and it's low division, even if you win a championship every year, you stay that division. Okay. So it's nice that you could actually build your team up and become someone who's in the Champions League facing against, you know what I mean, Man City, and you're like nobody. That would be so Honestly, much fun. That would be the biggest one hobby. in Romania. Ooh. <laughs> After but each game, game, you want. You just you need, need to give them BBQ meat and beer. That's how it works. <laughs> Sounds right. I'll do it. Sounds right. <laughs> I tell you what, thanks for the recommendation from Rebecca, because this restaurant looks very nice. Yeah, um, very traditional. Yeah, very traditional. Very quiet here. It's good. Uh, it's good. You need 10 million annually to be a good team in first league. Oh my gosh, it's too much. <laughs> I don't have it. But if, but the thing I'm saying is, if you bought a team in fourth league, mm -hmm. it would be a lot cheaper, and you could slowly work your way up, and then eventually you have uh, first league. You know. Right. Steve, what's better, Romanian liquors or Serbian rakia? I will say this. Oh boy. When we were in Serbia, we went to a really nice rakia tasting. Yeah. And they had one that was three hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah, that was. And they gave us one sip of it each, nice. and that was the greatest. Uh, Liquor. Forty percent alcohol, like yeah. strong alcohol, I've ever had. It tasted so good. And yeah. It was like more than forty percent, like forty-five. But I'm sure in Romania they have like, one too. So in I'm Romania, sure. Yeah. In exactly. Romania, we have been drinking homemade mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Palinka or like from the restaurant like this, yeah. but we have never visited maybe uh, 
brewery? Is it called brewery? Yeah, or that, uh, liquor? I think it's for liquor distillery. Distillery. Yeah. In Romania. So maybe that so could be a I would video say both idea. Could, that could be a video idea. Yeah. Go to a distillery and see yeah. them making palenka. I actually would like to see someone making it like homemade. Like in a village. That would be really somewhere cool. In, in Romania. someone's backyard. There's yeah, a goat. That would be really there's really a cool. goat over there and some tomatoes growing. And yeah, I don't palenka. know where though. That would be cool. I haven't seen any. Let us know if you have the hookup, yeah. guys, because that would be a good video. Maybe your right? grandparents can do it. Invite us. I want to see it. your grandparents' house and make some. And you know what would be more interesting for me? The guy, the grandfather who's making it, those guys are so interesting to me. You know, they're so strong, yeah. they're so, like, no-nonsense, and they're hard, hard work. And him making the palinka would be, uh, would be a sight to see. Yeah. Uh, I want the hat. Steve, so nice shirt. Shout out to Ajib. Oh, Ajib hello, Food Abang Hunter. Ajib. This is our Abang in the, uh, in the chat. Steve, so nice shirt. Yes, he could tell it's a brand new shirt. This is my uh, my number one football team. <laughs> now let's let's do rankings of number one football team down the list. Number you mean one in, for in me terms is terms of what? My fanhood. Fanhood. I would say one is Rapid. Two and three tied is Procedure and Vashko. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like okay. a fan of both of those teams actually. Vashko was really nice in Brazil. All and right. Procedure was amazing in in, in yeah. Indonesia. I was really surprised by the fans in. Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. True. And then it goes all the other teams, Palmeiras yeah. and and uh, what's the one in Red Star? It goes on. Thank you. Thank you. This is Merci. the. It's called uh, Vishinata. Vishinata, of course. Woo. Thank you. Windy man. Vishinata. Vishinata. Okay. No so rock. this is how you know you're in Romania. You have some alcohol and you wash it down with some more alcohol. It smells like sour cherry. Vishinata. Mm. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's not very much percent. It's quite low percent. Is it? It's so maybe, smooth. It's maybe like 15%. It is, you just don't feel it. Maybe it's just that good. <gasps> Cheers again from Shaft. Hey, here's the Shaft. Here's for Shaft. Oh. Cheers to Shaft. Cheers to Shaft. Cheers to Shaft. Cheers to Shaft. Thank you, Shaft. Hold on. Mm. Okay, this will warm me up. Um, it's cold. How is the internet speed compared to other countries? Romania's internet speed is the best in the world that we've seen outside yeah. of South Korea. Yeah, South Korea and then South Korea is number one because not only is the internet amazing, it's also uh, on all of the subway, on all of the buses, almost everywhere in the whole country is laser fast. Yeah. But number two is Romania. Um, those recipients look like they came out of chemistry lab. <laughs> yeah, true, right? It was like a little bit of a test tube or something. Cheers, no rock. <laughs> Mm. Very smooth. Um, I saw some comments I missed here. Love the color of your shirt. Thanks, Ajib. Yeah, uh, I Is was asking a... in the in the vlog we made about Rapid. I was asking the name of his color. Would you call it maroon or burgundy? Or burgundy. Because I want to say Rapid Red. It's 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 the Rapid right. Red, but it's not really red. It's more like it's burgundy the Rapid or Red. But yeah, what's good about this color, it might not be the most visually beautiful color, but it's so it unique. It is! I love that color. Don't you? I think most sports teams do I a bright blue, color. or a black, bright red, or a bright yellow, because it's more popping. This is uh, more unique, I think. Right. Like Dallas Cowboys is a blue, Tommy Beliefs, that same kind of blue. A lot of red, Cardinals, right, and, right, right, and Red right. Sox. But this is like a unique kind of color, so I like it. Uh, everyone's commenting on the vision yet, the uh, 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 receptacle. I'm feeling warm already. Uh, what is Very Romania's nice. local fruit? Local question fruit. from RC Borneo. Another Probably, good question. By the way, um, shout out to our members for having good questions. Consistently interesting questions. Yes. Um, Thanks to so all members. They definitely grow apples and peaches. Uh, the one to make palinka. Which is quince. Quince. Which is in the apple family again. Uh, they quince. definitely got a lot of elderberries and blueberries. Yeah. And a lot of berries. Similar to Canada. Apples, pears. Grapes. Grapes. Just growing everywhere. Yeah. And also, uh, not a fruit, but Romania's got a gazillion mushrooms. Oh, yeah. There's Mushroom. a real culture. If you're driving on the highway in the middle of nowhere, you'll see people selling mushrooms. Yeah. And they just went out and picked them. They're not like farming them. They just go in the in the forest, they pick mushrooms, and they sell them. Yeah. And they have huge oh, baskets plums, of mushrooms. Uh, oh, plums, which makes sense, which is palinka. Uh, here we go, from Rebecca. She knows plums, apricots, and watermelon. <gasps> we gotta find a mini watermelon. Oh, we gotta find pickled watermelon. Pickled watermelon. That's a must. Where can we find it? Yeah, we've gotta get to the pickled watermelon. We haven't tried it yet. We did try to make it once. Remember in Serbia? It was pretty good, <laughs> but we can do better. I don't oh, remember the good. taste. Yo, the live stream Sundays are back. For a while, we couldn't do a live stream, well, and I really did. missed it. 
But it was for members only. Uh, we did members only live stream. Yeah, but the, we did members the, only. The live members. stream is really nice because it gets it, you get a good impression of uh, what people are interested in. Yeah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Porcini mushrooms are bought in Romania and imported in Italy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Romanians, uh, Romanian mushrooms are like quite famous, quite tasty. Oh are, yeah, I love, Romanians I love mushroom dishes too here in Romania. True. Creamy. Mushroom chorba. It's like so comfort food. True. Yeah. Uh, question from Kim Tan. Are Romanians friendly? What would you say about it? Super friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I love Romanian people. Even if they don't speak English sometimes in the yeah. villages, like they're still so nice and sometimes they offer you palinko with... Pause. From a Jeep food hunter. Hey buddy, you look more thin and oh, slimmer. Oh, really? Finally, someone notices, man. <laughs> I said that too. You never said it to me I once. think you look more fit. I think you said fat. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve has been going to the gym. I just, I just, when I was a kid, I could do anything I wanted. I could eat anything I wanted. I could eat a whole pizza and the next day I feel great. And now I eat something that's yummy and sugary. You're getting and the older. the next day I'm like, oh, I shouldn't eat that. Getting older. So I've really it's been DH, sticking man. to it. Um, shout it's out to a bung Ajib. It's always your a bung that notices. Hey, he looks slimmer. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's not happening by accident. Uh, would you move to Romania? Yes, chef. Yes. Definitely. Um, so. Hey, I'm wondering if uh, foreigners can buy property in Romania. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. We are looking to. I mean, there's a lot of countries we would do it. We just have to find the prices right and yeah. for easy for foreigners. But yeah. Romania in the countryside. Okay, here's a question. Where would you want to live in Romania? And we wouldn't live there year round. We would be like in it for three or four months and then we go traveling and make videos and yeah. then we would put on Airbnb. Maybe the, as we're somewhere gone. in the countryside, but I don't know where. Good answer! I thought you were going to say Bucharest. No, because uh, the countryside here is not far from the cities. You can exactly drive. Exactly right. Oh, cheers to that. You know? Cheers to Shahalon and cheers to me living in Romania. No, no, look. You can buy anything you want in Romania, open a business and so on. Really? Even the, for foreigners? The um, the main idea for us would be to get a place somewhere where we can live sometime. And then we can go traveling and doing our thing. Yeah. And we can um, put it on Airbnb. Like make a cool, yeah. interesting place. That's so the my, Romanian countryside would be perfect for that. My dream, my dream is to open up an Airbnb. That's my dream. Hopefully it will yes. come true one day. And it kind of works with our lifestyle. And then what we would do yeah. is we would probably... The thing about Romania is you actually have good tourism in yeah. the winter because of Christmas stuff, like in Brasov oh, and that's stuff. Right, right. So yeah. if you can get a good property that's near uh, skiing and Christmas yeah. stuff, you could actually, we could leave for the winter, go to Indonesia and soak yeah. up the sun and have our Airbnb being busy yeah. in the winter. That would be like... <sighs> but our budget is not that high. So we're looking for someone to want to help out some friendly Canadians, you know? Someone was saying uh, the best pickled watermelon can be found in Bukovina. So Bukovina. Let me help with pickle. the Airbnb in Romania. Sha, please oh, help. I don't, know, I don't so know what much. kind of help you're offering, but I'm accepting your offer. Sha <laughs> is just so nice. For how long will you stay in Romania? You're uh, so nice. Sha is super nice. <laughs> um, even I, I, I put the wrong gender and it's still very friendly. Um, how long will you stay in Romania from Unicorn? Uh, we have no plans, to be honest. We have our car. For two weeks, we might extend it, we might not. Who knows? We got no idea, mm. no plans. Uh, we was just saying that the prices in Turkey also is very low now. Mm. Because we were just in Turkey before we came to Romania actually and we went to a football game to Besiktas. Besiktas, yeah, yeah. In Turkey. Uh, just Me says what you want is a condo in Floripa. Oh. Yes. Yes. You want a country house in Romania <laughs> and then a restaurant in Canada. I okay. agree with all of it. The restaurant in Canada is optional because it's yeah. so expensive and it's too much. But uh, a good memory, oh. just me. Floripa is one of my favorite places I've ever been. Yeah. In Brazil. My friends ask me, like, where should I go on vacation? Because I've traveled so much, me and you. And they're like, where should I go? I'm like, honestly, man, if you're going on vacation, you go to Floripa. It's the best beach vacation, culture, beach, party, relax, everything you want in Florida. Yeah. I love that place. And from Canada, it's kind of accessible. Yeah. And that place is very safe in Brazil. I would recommend Malaysia, but from Canada to go to Malaysia, you need two weeks and even two weeks is not enough. So far. Very far, yeah. Uh, Brazil is just straight south, so shout out to Floripa. Oh, and I'm thinking about <laughs> Floripa. Oh, that would be another place. Anyone I'd like to buy from something. Brazil on the chat? In the a chat. couple people. We saw a couple at, people at the beginning, we saw a couple yeah. uh, uh, Brazilians. 
Shyamalan, can... you got all the ideas. Man. I am a software guru <laughs> from Shack. Good. We can start our own JLWBNB. Wow. I love it. Last night there was snow in the mountains. <gasps> oh, where? Where in the mountains? Uh, listen, Ivana so and I are prepared. So in Romania they got Apuseni Mountains, Car Carpathians. Yeah. Mountains. Well. Uh, they got they got the, the big mountains and they got the green <laughs> Small mountains. Small mountains, There's rocky some, mountains. They got the hills. They got all of it. <laughs> I just know Carpathian and, and Abu Seni. What was uh, Weifang saying? Weifang. According to Google, uh, in my eyes, the red looks like claret color. Oh, claret. I've never heard of that red. What's claret? Claret. Oh, that's like the name of the color? Yeah. I never heard that word in my life. I thought it was an object. <laughs> claret. I don't know. Color. Sounds good. I'll, I'll take it. Claret red. Uh, 21 Celsius today, just me says. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's actually very nice. In the sun, it's perfect. It's a bit windy today, but in the shade, it's a little chilly, but uh, no problem. You drink up your vicinata, yeah. and you feel very warm on the inside. This is to keep me warm. Uh, the live streams are so nice. To sit with you guys on a quiet Sunday. Do you stay for Christmas tradition? I wish we could. Maybe. Not this year. We won't be not here for Christmas. Year. I'm not going to lead you um, on. We won't be here for Christmas this year. We where really is the best to... place for to spend Christmas in Romania? Where is it? Where is um, the best place? I saw the Dodo Explorers make a video from Brashov in Christmas, and it was amazing. Yeah. Do you remember that video? I love that video. I watched it like four times with you. Yeah. So I would say Brashov would be my guess. I don't yeah. know if it's true or not, but that Brashov video by Dodo was like, I was like, wow, what a nice video. They have a huge Christmas tree and the snow everywhere, and they flew the drone at nighttime, yeah. which is quite dangerous, but they managed to do it, and it was- I think they woke up at like 3 a.m. in the morning to take that. To fly that. the drone, it was so nice. Oh, food is here. Ooh, good. Michi. Mitch? Pork. Michi and pork, fantastic. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. A bit here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we need to do handy cam for a second here. This is Ivana's, which is called pork meat in Greece. I think there is some meat and sausages. Yeah. They have a similar menu on the menu, like the same picture. And then I was like, oh, what's the difference? And then he's saying, this, this is one's better. better. That one's better. Yeah. And mine is meat. By the way, good size meat. Three is what you want and a little bit of taters. I think there's fries. Is it? Sorry, I was still... <laughs> still... <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Ivana, what's mine is yours, okay? Uh, let's see if we set the camera up nice. Yeah, start them again. Now, I'm going to try to talk to you guys, but I first need to give it meat to me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Meat it up, meat it up. They you know what we should do? So they can see I'm going to try to do that on your side of the camera. Because I use it a lot louder. Here. Mm, here. Over here. Yeah. Can they see the food? No. No, your side was better. Really? Yeah. Okay. There you oh, go. Now you can see the food. Now you see the food. Pull it down a little bit. Well, now I'm going to be ha no eyeballs on the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. There you go. Okay, approach. Okay. <laughs> uh, pofta buna, uh, pofta which means, buna, uh, which means bon appetit. Uh, bon appetit. Pofta buna. Let's eat, pofta guys. Buna. Also, jumbun is another common one. Jumbun is uh, goodbye. Slama jalan. Or, like, uh, safe, safe travel bon voyage. Yeah, bon voyage. Yeah, bon voyage. Oh, yeah, Mama Shout out to Mustard for doing God's work. Mustard. <laughs> we did meet, uh, make Mitch in Canada mm -hmm. for your family. And also in Malaysia, mm -hmm. in uh, Sarawak. Mm -hmm. And gave it to strangers and they all liked it. Everyone likes Mitch. How could you not like yeah. Mitch? It's very yummy. Mm -hmm. I'm really doing my best to get your meat. Oh, yeah, this Mama Liga is good. Food on the screen. Mama Liga in uh, fat oil. Mama in oil. Cannot beat it. Um, meat and mustard. By the way, a oh, good Mama amount Liga of mustard. Oh, Mama so good. In Serbia, we don't eat, eat chapat with mustard. Oh. You guys are missing out, man. What are you? What do you eat chapat with by itself? I think so. I don't remember. But it's similar from what I remember. Mitch is more bouncy than chapat. Yeah. From what I remember. Mitch is more bouncy. That's the bounciness factor. No. Oh, sorry. I'm stealing your... L listen, let's switch. Get half-half. Here you go. And this is for you. 
I'm giving you. Know, you know, Ivana, you were free to order this for yourself. Do you guys share meals? I don't know. If you guys are a couple, do you guys share meals? Because By the way, let me here, know. Here, I give you extra meat. Now. That's quite good. Uh, let me know if you guys ever heard of or ever enjoyed vinegar on french fries. Because if you got french oh, fries... We eat your fault with Kaimak. Kaimak is really good. Which is uh, the cheese. This is the right way to eat french or fries, butter. just so you know. This is the correct amount of vinegar. Vinegar and salt. Vinegar and salt. Uh, I've heard a lot of different ways to eat french fries, including mayonnaise, including ketchup, including lots of different things. But the right way, vinegar and salt. Pof de buna, pof de buna. Everybody being very mm. helpful. Uh, Yvonne has got this just straight up pork. Uh, very greasy. Mm. Very good. Very good. Mm. Maybe we should put it near you, no? Thanks for the recommendation, Rebecca. It's very good. Yeah, Rebecca nailed Five it. Star. If you had to choose between rendang and meech, <gasps> is that a tough choice? I'm sorry, I gotta choose rendang. <laughs> Um, I think Actually, rendang is my favorite food ever. I stand by that decision. I will say <laughs> this, and I hate to say this. Forever I was saying Malaysia has the best cuisine in the world, right? Mm -hmm. The flavor is amazing in Malaysia, it's yeah. true. The thing but, is... But, now that I'm progressing past the age of 30, <laughs> Malaysian, I cannot maintain the waistline in Malaysia. <laughs> Well, in, in, how about in Romania? You eat a lot of fat but and it's, it's, sausages. But it's like and, my body you know? is used to eating that kind of... Mm, okay. Like, like, like that's what my diet has been, you know, in my history. Yeah. Malaysia, I think it's... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's oil or sugar. I don't know what it is. No, but it's just heavy. The thing is... Coconut, I don't know. Here's the thing. In uh, Southeast Asia, like Malaysia and Indonesia, the food, uh, like rendang and such, Mm. It's very good. It might be the best food in the world, mm -hmm. Rendang. Mm -hmm. But in Romania, it's more comforting, comfort food. That's the keyword, comfort food. Mm -hmm. Like, I can eat this every day. Like Rendang, I cannot eat it every day. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's and I thing. wonder if it's because Romania is cold. So the food oh. is very, like, warm, like hearty comforting yeah. it's like built for the cold weather like you eat it and then you feel mm. Mm, yeah you feel warm inside yeah it's like potatoes and cheese mm -hmm. and very like ah oh, it feels so nice mm -hmm. whereas in malaysia it's more just like the flavor is unbelievable yeah the fl you put the thing in your mouth and you go whoa so good yeah <laughs> uh it's a bit different so anyway i would say yeah look if you eat rendang every day you will suffer mm. it's so spicy in there there's so much stuff in there that it just and the just, coconut oil and uh, coconut milk, oil coconut milk yeah so I would maintain that Indonesia and Malaysia, this part of the world, has the best cuisine for flavor. Yeah. But I might be switching my vote for, for my favorite food. cuisine. <laughs> because in Malaysia, I cannot maintain the waistline. It just, it just, I and I have stomach problems and it's like, man. Mm. I think Malaysian food is 20, 25 and under year old food. <laughs> you know, every day, no problem. <laughs> like I had more stomach problems on our recent trip to Malaysia than I did on our first trip. What do you mean? Oh, second. Okay. Yeah, because I'm just getting, I just, I'm just getting weaker and older. You know what I mean? So anyway, old Malaysia man. is very delicious, but uh, old man's deeds. Still, one of my favorite cuisines is Serbia. So mm. healthy over there, or Romania. What's unicorn so saying? Can I come, unicorn? Can I come? <laughs> I cannot wait for you to come here in Serbia in your vlogs. Yeah, unicorn. We'll see. Yeah, you. our plan is to go to Serbia after this, and then maybe to Bosnia and. Uh, I think we should. I think we should add in Bosnia. Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to say? Her. Uh, Her. Her, Her <laughs> I think it's Herzegovina. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, our plan is. That's Romania, a new country. We have never Serbia, been. Serbia and then to Bosnia. Bosnia. Yeah. Herzegovina. Um, I am in sector six, Bucharest, and it looks super windy. In the center, it looks like it is not. It's super um, windy here too, but maybe there. Really, really windy here. I think, I think on this particular building. street, we're sort of tucked away. Yeah. But at the, the beginning of the live stream, um, there were like signs falling over, and you know the wind blows so hard, and everyone's kind of nervous yeah. someone's gonna fall on their head from a building or something. Uh, what if we was came really strong. Across the storm last year when we were here, like the building parts were falling down, and then the trees were on the ground. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. like the end. <laughs> it was like the end of the world. 
It was scary. That yeah. was last year. That was last year. Oh my god, I'm drooling. Mm. Puff the buna. The sausage well, is good. That's it. Now I gotta go get some meat too. This is probably the best sausage I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Good sausage here. Good sausage. Yeah. Look at there. Yeah, very good. It's so good. You gotta try it. I gave you a piece there. Yeah, I will. And uh, shout out to Polenta. The way I describe Polenta is it's like mashed potatoes except it's corn. Yeah. That's the way it's I describe good. it. Very good. What do you like better? What, mashed potatoes or polenta? Yeah. Ah, uh, both good. Would you do sausage with mustard? No. Uh, maybe not. Try it by itself. It's very good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Very greasy. Wow. Very flavorful. I think the meat is good. Meat is good. Mmm. Very good. Stealing the mustard. Please, Ivana. Help yourself. Let me try. Very good. Um, yeah. Romania is one of those countries where you don't find bad food. I always maintain that in every country you can find good food. Mm -hmm. But some countries, they're just, they're, if you order something, you're like, oh, this is bad. Uh, Romania is like Malaysia where there's no bad food. Mm -hmm. The people take pride in preparing it and they'll never just slap it on the thing and serve it. Right. Like in Canada, it's you can cook with love. In Canada, you can easily find bad food. Oh, you can go I to read, a place and get a burger, and the guy makes it, and you're like, "What the heck is this?" I read a comment somewhere that Romanian food is good. It's cooked with love that goes into your stomach. Love? Yeah. That goes into your stomach. Yeah. Good. Sounds right. <laughs> good. Uh, someone said, uh, "Have you ever tried Mama Liga with cheese and sour cream?" Yes, Rebecca. We just tried this for the first time a few days ago. I think we'll, I think we'll make a whole video about this because it's so good. It's so good. We had one where they served it in a bowl, and on top of the bowl they put slices of sausage on top of the sour cream. Mm -hmm. So it was it was polenta, cheese, sour cream, sausage slices, and you just eat it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. And it's like <laughs> one of the greatest foods because you don't even have to chew it. It's all just so flavorful, so warming and and hearty, and just like mush. <laughs> it's really nice food. Uh, I ordered it, and Ivana said, you have to give me half of that. <laughs> and we shared half-half. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, it's really good. I think we'll do a whole video about that food, because somehow on our first Romania trip, we totally missed polenta cheese sour cream. Yeah, we we have always had Mama Liga, which is polenta. Mm -hmm. But it's always been with, like, something else, not with sour cream and cheese. As a main dish. Yeah. Not a side dish, but the whole bowl is just that. It's mm -hmm. really good. Why is Romania underrated? Hmm. Well, I think there's lots of reasons. I think one is well, it's right in near Europe. Here, it's in, in Europe, Europe, and in Europe you got Italy and Greece. Yeah, Italy, Greece. That's those are the popular destinations. Yeah. I think for people who wants to visit Europe, they wouldn't choose Romania as their first destination. They might choose something. Italy and Greece are more popular. Have ocean access, you get beaches or, and you get more. Yeah, or like in the Eastern Europe, uh, Croatia is more popular than Romania, mm -hmm. I think. Which and we again, haven't been to Croatia And again, it's because you've got Mediterranean yet. ocean access, yeah. Mediterranean sea access. Yeah. So it jumps off the screen uh, more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Also, Romania has a bit of a bad reputation because it has a communist era. And then after that, <coughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, many expats left Romania. Mm -hmm. And in Europe, it's very funny. When we first met Catalin, our Romanian friend, yeah, I think he said he was from Romania, and I didn't have any judgment of that. He was impressed because mm -hmm. I think in Europe, his his experience was when he tells someone in Europe yeah. that he's from Romania, they're like, oh, Romania. Yeah, but in Canada, <laughs> I had no concept yeah. of that. Yeah. So he was telling me about that. So yeah, I think that's uh, why we came to Romania in the first place is because of Catalin. Yeah. Uh, you guys all know backpack your life, Catalin. So I think we came here in the first place was because of him uh, we knew him and then he was here he happened to be here and then we came to see him so uh, yeah and then we met the dodos uh, another youtubers uh, our friends yeah um, they live here in Brashaw so we met them here uh, so that's how we came to Romania <laughs> yeah yeah Kathleen was amazing because we just met him and we were like we were like a week after we got a thousand subscribers Here's the question. Where did you meet Catalina? So Radu. Um, met him in Indonesia. I met him in Indonesia <laughs> on the beach. He was yeah. filming stuff. He had a microphone with him. We were filming ourselves with our little microphone. In Lombok Island. In Lombok Island. 
and so he was talking to us about YouTube and we had just reached 1,000 subscribers. And so I was doing a little bit of bragging to him. I was like, we just got 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> I didn't know at the time he was at like 400,000. And so it was an obvious opportunity for him to say, oh, you got 1,000, yeah, I got 400,000. <laughs> he didn't even tell me, he was super helpful. He was like, that's amazing, you got 1,000. He was like really sincere and really encouraging. And then after 20 minutes or half an hour later, his friend tells me, hey, he's got 400,000. And I was like, no. <laughs> and so I felt a little embarrassed, but he was really encouraging and really helped us out. Uh, he made a video on his channel with us in it, and we went from 1,000 to like 4,000, like the next day. Yeah, so I think a lot of uh, Romanians that are subscribed to us, not a lot, some Romanians that are subscribed to us now have followed us since the beginning, since we since, met Katali. Yeah. <laughs> Like long before we came to Romania. Yeah, long before we came here. So we were so impressed with Catalina um, that we made the plan to go to Romania. Mm -hmm. And now we're back again because it's so nice. I mean, there's so many people in this world that in that moment they would... I mean, he could have just crushed us and laughed at us and been like, oh, no, 1,000, like 400,000. Yeah, totally. And he was so helpful. He's a it very was nice guy. really, really sincere and really, really uh, okay. encouraging. And so we decided to go to Romania from there. Uh, so I missed a bunch of comments because I was telling my passionate story about how Kathleen is such a nice guy. Um, dun, 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 dun. You guys are great. Thank you to Christina. Have some papanas. Okay, sounds oh. good. Do you know papanas? The donut. The donut. Romanian donut. It's just so good too. Uh, how are you? Da, 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 da. Thank you for watching everybody. Uh, where did you meet Kathleen? That's what we just talked about. Are you going to meet Ken Abroad again? Probably. No plans yet, but yeah. he's our friend, so I'm sure we'll see him again. I am Romanian and I am a subscriber. Shout out, <laughs> Harry Annie. Thank you very much. My Scottish husband and I are coming to Bucharest on Wednesday. Ooh, oh, very nice. Very exciting. How uh, exciting. That Have is fun. cool from Christina Bryceland. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a cool place. I don't know how long you're traveling or how much of Romania you'll see, but uh, we think it's really great for tourism. You have to come back to Yash. You need to take a guide with you to tell you about the city where Romania was born. Okay. Hello from Oradia, shout out. So I think our Romanian subscriber base is starting to come back again. It's always funny on YouTube because YouTube shows your videos to certain people. And when you go to a new country, YouTube doesn't know you're in a new country right away. <laughs> yeah. So now that we left Indonesia, went to Turkey, YouTube doesn't know to show those videos to Turkish people. And now we're in Romania again. YouTube is probably still showing videos to Indonesia people. Yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping our Romania audience comes back pretty quick because uh, we've got a lot of videos. We is asking, will you um, will you do daily vlogs from Romania? Not quite daily, but certainly do three a week and a live stream, which is four. We might post four a week and a live stream, which is five. Five out of seven. Schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Wait. No. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Saturday and, and then live stream Sunday. Um, we might push one more in on a Monday or something like that. Not quite daily because the thing about daily vlogs is when we do it, some of the vlogs are not much of mm -hmm. happening. It's just, <laughs> just filming something because you want to film every day. You gotta get so, your eyes again. Uh, yeah, I think you'll you'll help me out. <laughs> Good, right? Rice and vinegar is the best kind of fries. Oh my god, you're back. This is a good bite. Show it to Irina. This is such a nice thing. Oh my god, you're back. It's so awesome. I'm Romanian, but I emigrated. So I discovered some new stuff while watching your travels last oh, time. Lovely. Can't wait to find out some Thank new you. spots. Yay. Uh, shout out to Irina. Thanks for your nice. Good bite here. Mm. Good. Do you have a napkin? No. no. Okay. Oh, maybe you should ask. No need. Mm. Good food in Romania. Um, mm. Why don't you have member subscription? We do? We do. From Sunny Boy. Why don't you have members? We have members. We have a good, pretty active membership group. Um, we always ask them what they want, what we should offer them. But it seems like our members are pretty uh, consistent. They don't want much extra. They just want to help us help support us yeah which is a very them. nice feeling for us 
for the past month, uh, we did live stream for members only. Mm -hmm. And now uh, this one we're doing it publicly for everyone. Yeah, but we do have membership, YouTube membership. You guys can check it out, join if you like. Please join, it's very helpful to us, it's very helpful. Yeah, thank you. Um, mm. Mm. I tell you what, in Romania, they always make their own fries. I'll give you another good piece of meat here. Good piece. What's the offer? Just for free? Yeah, man. Oh, it's a gift. I thought it was a trade offer. <laughs> um, I'm really, I think I'm overeating. Okay, the trade off is a. You can't renege on a deal, Ivana. You made a deal. You can't take price. back the deal, Ivana. The contract was signed, Ivana. <laughs> <laughs> um. You do, you do, but there is no join button. Mm -hmm. Just me says you do, but there is no mm. join button. Maybe we'll put a link on the pin comment on on this live stream for the link to join our membership. Um, there should be a subscribe button that's red. Yeah. Beside that, there should be a join button. Yeah. But people are saying they don't see it. May is it only on iPhone or on your laptop? I think. Uh, just me says try it on multiple devices. Oh, really? Maybe we're in YouTube jail. You huh. guys have heard we're officially kicked off as Facebook for some reason. Someone hacked into our account. Someone tried to hack our account. And, and use our credit card. Because of their thievery on our hack, on, on hacking our account, they kicked us off Facebook. Yeah. Talk about blame the victim. I'm like, no, no, no. Someone hacked us. <laughs> Why are you kicking me off? <laughs> anyway, uh, all good. My dad says, say good morning to mom. He means me, but let's all the chat also say good morning to Steve's mom. Mm. I'm sure we can get a bunch of messages. Uh, good morning to my mother, who is out in the United States driving around, exploring the world. Uh, did you get your stolen camera back? Mm -hmm. No. We did not get the camera. We did not get the uh, laptop, hard drive. We lost everything, except for the GoPro, which two months no. later broke anyway. That wasn't a GoPro, but... It was a GoPro. Yeah. Go. But we did get a new GoPro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We lost both Instagram accounts because my Facebook got hacked. Uh, yeah, this is a crazy thing where if someone gets... If someone somehow hacks your account, Facebook bans you. Yeah. And they don't have customer service. Someone that we can talk to. That sucks. It is what it is. We were just starting on Facebook. We we're still quite small. I think we had like 30,000, what do you call it? We got friends? almost 40K subscribers, followers. followers. On, uh, Facebook. It's still a bummer, but if the YouTube disappears, we're in deep trouble. Yeah. So thank God it was Facebook, not YouTube. Yeah. But then Facebook, we got to start over again from zero. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a, a lot of work. Yeah, what a bummer. What a bummer. Facebook sucks. Maybe Facebook will come back to us. Maybe the account will come back to us. Hopefully, but... But who knows? I'm not very hopeful. You're not very optimistic? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me neither. But it's a bummer. It's lost for good. We're not sure yet, just me. The they page is still there, but we just can't sign in. How? And we cannot reach anyone from Facebook. So it's a couple of things here. One. We sign into Ivana's personal page, and from Ivana's personal page, there's a business page called Jelly Warriors. Yeah. Ivana's personal page was hacked. Somebody went in there, uh, somehow got her password. We didn't give it out. It must have been some kind of computer program guessing the password. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they got it, and they went in. They took Ivana's debit card, which is attached to the Facebook account, and they started buying stuff. So then the fraud came from mm -hmm. the debit card, canceled the debit card, blah, 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 blah. But during that process, Facebook said, oh, something is going on with your personal account. We're going to ban, disable the account. Mm -hmm. Simultaneous to the disabling of that account, they also said, uh, in 30 days, if your account is still disabled, it will be gone forever. So we've got like 25 days left or whatever, 27 days. Uh, but because of, they said, because of COVID-19, there's, they, no, one there's no one to, res no human being to respond to this. <laughs> so now it's... Um, now it's oh, like, no. I don't know who to ask or who to email, but the Jet Lag Warriors page is still good. I think so, hopefully. It's just that we can't access it because yeah. Ivana's account is gone. So maybe we can try to switch the Jet Lag Warriors page to another person. But how do we do it? But how do we even get into it? Yeah. Anyway, total bummer, but this is life.
Anyway, enough about Facebook. It's a bit of a bummer. Be careful with your password for YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I see Just Me's point too. Um, how do you do customer service when there's like a gazillion people talking all day long? Yeah, but at least for it's business, hard for them to do. We're making money for them. <laughs> yeah, it's hard it's to do for them. I mean, but, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, YouTube has a million people too, but they still have customer service. You know what I mean? <laughs> so YouTube is a way better flat platform already. Well, the numbers on Facebook are way more. Yeah, true. The thing about Facebook is the average person on Facebook is also a creator. On YouTube, there's a very small number of creators and a whole bunch of users. Mm. Everyone on Facebook is uploading stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a different platform. It's hard for them, but in the end, it sucks for us, but that's life. I'm over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It would be one thing if we were making lots of money on Facebook, but we weren't making much of anything on Facebook. So all good. Anyway, let us know some good news, guys. Start to bum you guys all out. Change your YouTube password every few months. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, good idea, Adventuresome. We do that. We changed all our passwords after we got hacked the one time because uh, Adventures of Life. Hey, new member. Yes. This is really what we're trying oh, to do. Oh, yay. Alex, thank you. And uh, clearly Romanian name. Second yeah. name, clearly Romanian. Welcome, Alex. Um, obviously, a YouTube channel of our size has an opportunity for sponsorships. I certainly am not passing judgment on all of our friends who do sponsorships, but the reality is everyone is different. I don't feel right doing sponsorships. Ivana wants to maybe talk me into it. We are turning down easy money to just sell some products, but I just don't want to do it. It just doesn't feel right to... to I just don't care what VPN you use, to be honest. But my point is, um, because of our no sponsorship... Well, you might do it one day. I'm on. I'm all in for that. Yvonne is in for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, somebody has to look in the camera and say this product is good. Mm -hmm. While simultaneously not actually believing this product is good. Just getting paid to say that. Well, you gotta find a product like that. I understand all of my friends do sponsorships. I'm not saying they're less than me. I'm not saying this. What I'm saying is uh, we're leaving lots of money on the table by not doing sponsorships. And for this reason, it is so good to have the members. I'd much rather have the, the money come in from members and from views than from sponsorships. There's an ongoing debate <laughs> in our life. Well, if you want to build an Airbnb one day, you might need it. If you want to, <laughs> that's you what want, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> if you want to build an Airbnb, I mean, we're, we're you're gonna need more money than we have. Yeah. <laughs> True. So which one? You rather be uncomfortable for a few minutes, or you know? <laughs> I have a bit of a phobia of selling salespeople, just selling things, just being dishonest. Well, you're not I, being dishonest. I understand that, but I am I am someone who will I will fall for it. If someone starts selling me something, I'll buy it, and then I realize I don't even want this thing because they're a good salesperson. So I just don't want to like be. like that tuna salad. Someone gave Steve tuna salad, and he just said yes. I like, ordered. What? Say no. Yo, I ordered a sandwich. And that way... you can say no. Why didn't you say no? To that? I have a hard time saying no. <laughs> I know that people are easily manipulated, and I don't want to yeah. manipulate them. Listen, the other you're day. You're not manipulate if they want it. The other they day, want it because listen, they like it for them. The other day, I ordered a sandwich. <laughs> Okay. You're not. Forcing I ordered a sandwich. Anybody. You wanna? I ordered a sandwich. <laughs> the waitress comes out yeah. and goes, um, uh, "Sorry, I made you this tuna salad. It's the wrong thing. <laughs> Will you eat it?" And I went, "Yeah, okay." And then I put it there, and I and I ate half of it, and I was like, "I don't want this at all." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Why did you just tell her no? Bring me what I ordered." Yeah. And I was like, "Damn, I should have done that." <laughs> anyway, my point is. Ah, I just don't want to sell things to people. Just save your money, buy what you want. <laughs> I, I think, listen, I think there is a path on YouTube towards a good, very uh, profitable life, healthy life without selling things. And who's doing that on YouTube right now? This is Nobody. the wrong way to look at life. Nobody. This is the wrong way to look at life. <laughs> someone else has to do it for you to be, you can't look within and try to, and try to be someone that you want to be you have to look mm -hmm. at someone else and be like them no no no. what i'm telling you is i okay. think we can handle that i'm I think just we can do it thinking long term steve is thinking 
No, no, no. I disagree <laughs> totally. I think I'm thinking long term. <laughs> You're thinking of money right now. This is very short term thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking we can do this life. We can go around. We can have children and we can be this travel, this very, <laughs> very beautiful thing we can do. All right. And we can really not have to sell stuff on the side. We're all consumers. Okay. The problem is, I bet you. I haven't looked at the chat for a few minutes. I bet you the whole chat is saying, just do sponsorships. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. Most people are don't advertise products you don't believe in. My dad said, do it for something you believe in. Um, if you think it's a good product, what's the problem? Yeah. You can do sponsorships. Exactly. Uh, there you go. I know. I'm not saying it's... All my friends are sponsorships. Those are my friends. I love those people. I'm not saying doing sponsorships is less than. I just don't think it's necessary. There's, a, there's a way forward for all different types of people. It's uh, unnecessary people, until we're really begging for money. Some people <laughs> will, will see this no sponsorship attitude mm -hmm. and think it resonates with them. It's not zero amount of people on earth that will say that zero. And they will. we can build our own community through being ourselves. I mean, we're not saying not be ourselves. I'm not really being. I'm not really being clear. I'm not really making good points just yet. Listen, it's hard for me to describe, but something within me says don't do a sponsorship. You might change your mind one day. Mhm. Mm True. One day, Steve said, "No, we're not gonna put ads on any of our videos. How it's are we gonna live? <laughs> now we have ads, but." <laughs> this is a fact. At the very beginning of YouTube. I thought that we would do no ads, like ad breaks in the video. Yeah. Now we have ads. <coughs> so Steve might change his mind one day. <laughs> okay, we got a donation here. Uh, donation. It says, Yvonne, this is for you. Can you do a UK <laughs> accent, please? Oh, UK wow. accent, Remedy Ivana. 10. UK accent, what do you got? Hmm. UK this accent. This is a fine <laughs> glass of wine here that I have. <laughs> How do, are you lacking your potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> are you having a fine, beautiful day today? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm the worst accent doer. Every time I do an accent, it comes out as Australian or Indian. That's all I can do. <laughs> How about Jamaica, man? <laughs> Oh, you're good, Ivana. <laughs> you're the best, Ivana. Uh, thank you for your donation. Yes, thank you, Remedy. Um, Remedy 19. A uh, long time listener, long time donator. I've seen the name Remedy 19 <laughs> more than five times in the donations. Thank you very much. Um, do you have a Revolut or PayPal account? I did not find in the description. We, uh, well, PayPal doesn't allow us anymore. We do have buy us a coffee. Off PayPal? No, 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 they don't do that service anymore. Oh, phew. Uh, not kickback. I'm like, man, we're going to kickback everything. We do here. have buy me a coffee or a thanks button on YouTube. If you guys uh, yeah. scroll under like, dislike, or like, there will be a thanks with a heart logo. You guys can uh, donate some money through the thanks button or buy us a coffee. <laughs> Maybe, Ivana. Maybe what we have to do is go for the anti-marketing market. What I mean is, if we let people know we don't do subscriptions, uh, sponsorships, if we let people know we don't do sponsorships, we might actually get more in return. What I'm are telling you, talking you there's about? Not, there's not... I don't think that's how it works. Crazy wind. Yes. Um, I think it's okay, no sponsorships, Ivana. Ivana's working on me the past, how many months? More years, Yvonne has been saying, just do a sponsorship already. We do have a lot of offers, pretty good offers. <laughs> How much money? How much money on average? Should I tell people? <laughs> I think it's okay. Okay, maybe uh, two thousand dollars per 60 seconds of ad. No, that's too high. It's no, it's true. An average, oh my gosh, maybe 1500 to 2000. For a one minute sponsorship, yeah. Oh man, but Steve doesn't want that extra. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. Do it, people say, do it. See, can't do it. No, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Steve, are you crazy? There you go. Go for it. No, no. People are saying go no. for it. No. <laughs> Listen. I didn't know it was that much. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, you never told me that before. Yeah, I did. I wasn't listening. Um, it's too much. Ivana, it's, it's not right. Oh. You're not going to hurt anyone <laughs> if you do it. The Adventure um, said you guys should get Steve to sponsor for Tim Hortons. <laughs> uh, Steve, is there any Asian food there? Yes, of course. Actually, Romania got one of the best sushi I've ever had. Number one outside of Japan is Moldova. Got True. really good sushi. Number True. two is Romania. True. The best sushi. Actually, I would like to go for some sushi at one time in Romania. Can? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Actually, like you said, Moldova sushi, amazing. Yeah. Romania, now, second. What would you say about Asian food in general? Thai food, Vietnamese food. I like sushi. Uh, I'm saying in uh, Romania. In Romania. Uh, I haven't tried much Asian because we've been eating like meat every day or salmon, which is good. <laughs> True. Yeah. The one time we had Asian food is with sushi and it was very good. By the way. Yeah. Okay. This is what we call no waste. Perfectly, perfectly consumed the mustard with the meat to complete both dishes at the exact same time. Did not run out of mustard, did not run out of meat. Yeah. Last bite with last bite. Professional meat eater. Steve, it's okay, you can do some charity with the money. This turned out to be the sponsorship debate live stream. <laughs> it's not necessary just yet. Listen, okay. Do they have KFC here? Yes, they do. In Romania, they have KFC, right? It's amazing that KFC I think I've seen it. in Malaysia is looked at as good food. And in my opinion, being in Canada my whole life, KFC is bad food. <laughs> well, the, the KFC in Canada Malaysia, is bad. You haven't tried the one in Malaysia. So I've heard the one in Malaysia is good. Maybe next time we go to Malaysia, we'll do a KFC vlog. Because yeah. in Canada, KFC is like, oh, it's heavy. Uh, how is the KFC in Romania? We haven't tried it yet. Because we've been eating Not really. I don't really like fast food. I ate three meats today, all caps. Oh, yeah, darn it. Hey, me too. All caps. Me too. Hungry Steve, clean the plate. I actually have a bit of a phobia of food waste. I always try to eat the plate. I always try to clear the plate. Yeah. I have Most a bit of, of a phobia. Time, if Yvonne doesn't finish, I'll oh, finish hers. Even if I'm not hungry. Yeah. Which makes no difference. It's not really helping anyone to just force feed, but I do that. Oh, someone is saying KFC in Romania is the best. Romania. <laughs> Scroll up. Romania KFC is the best. Maybe we'll try it in Romania. And it's a must-eat. Oh. KFC in Romania is the best and a must-eat. What should we order? This fried chicken? That could be an easy vlog idea, babe. Yeah. Just do KFC because in Malaysia, they will tell you that Malaysian KFC is the best. Yeah. Romania says the same thing. In Canada, they'll tell you that the KFC stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who's eating that stuff. Everyone thinks it's yeah. bad. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, Romania KFC vlog coming soon. Oh, in Romania, uh, Popeyes just opened. Mm. Interesting. Popeyes. Popeyes is like Southern American food with biscuits and stuff. Leftover food on the plate and crocodiles. Steve's phobias. <laughs> yeah, crocodiles. But even just, um, even just reptiles in general. It's like, oh, gross. Even people have like a little gecko, a little lizard as a pet. It's like gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reptiles make me scared. Something about a reptile doesn't seem uh, compassionate. <laughs> oh. How about... Like a snake? Ooh, snake. Do you have a pet snake? Ooh, that's a lot right now. Pet snake? Oh, yo, yo. Gecko from a distance. Hello from Yash. Yash Another guy hello. from Yash. Hello, hello, hello. We did have one in Yash. Uh, just like doing a football vlog in every country, at a KFC vlog. Oh, Actually, oh, Ivana and I idea. talked about this. Yeah. Maybe not necessarily a KFC vlog, but a fast food vlog. <laughs> 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 
We need to get some allergy. Yo, what am I allergic medicine? to in the fall? Me too. <laughs> One more coming. You need to pick the right KFC in Romania, though. Uh, oh my gosh. Bless you. Oh. Okay, usually allergies okay, in the... I need to use the bathroom, so I don't know. let's please myself. You want a bathroom? Yeah. Okay, I'll be a live streamer. One more sneeze coming. Oh my gosh, I can't smell it. Jeez Louise. Watch out, watch out. Oh, over my leg. Yeah, yeah, put it here. Put it here. Okay, good. All right, let's, uh, let's solo live stream this. Uh, Louis Fung was saying a KFC vlog. Yeah, Yvonne and I might do a fast food. That's obviously not what we had in mind when we started the travel channel, doing fast food review, but I think it's okay. I think it's, uh, I think it's a good idea. So we do, um, we do sports now. Football's good, every country. Certainly we do adventures and traditional costumes and tourist attractions and I think we might add into uh, fast food because a lot of people watch fast food vlogs. The vlog from Indonesia where we had donuts is like killing it. Uh, sorry to Bodura, why don't you read my messages? Certainly not uh, intentionally missing your messages but there are a lot coming in and Ivana and I are trying our best to maintain Uh, good looking at the chat I hope you didn't miss rapids yesterday game so I bought this jersey at rapids game yesterday the video from yesterday's rapid game will be out tomorrow yeah we fung the donut view surprised me um, you know to shoot that vlog takes an hour because you're just in the restaurant to edit it is very easy because it's very linear and it does so well it's just a good use of time even and I could go out adventuring all day where it takes hours and hours to shoot and it takes a lot of effort to edit and then it will do a quarter of what the donuts vlog will do i think it's right for us to add in fast food in every country whatever they're interested in whatever they're proud of whatever their fast food is whether it's local fast food or some twist uh we also did the mcdonald's vlog in indonesia but the mcdonald's vlog was a bit of a duh it didn't hit that many but we just thought it was worth it because it's so efficient in terms of time but yeah i think we'll do fast food stuff it's 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 a you know not what we had in mind when we started our travel channel but if it is gonna pay some bills we'll rather do that for me i'd rather do that than sell vpns there is actually a romanian youtube channel called uh something something, something with 250k subs he's eating a lot of fast food yeah fast food is a good topic for social media people are interested in fast food they're eating all the time um, also i think younger people eat fast food more and younger people are huge numbers on youtube so yeah i think we'll add it add it into our repertoire soccer views in indonesia high as well yeah another good use of time couple hours to film couple hours to edit and it does really well so that's why we're doing football all the time now. Plus, a football game is just a fun experience. Ivana and I last night went out to the Rapid game. It's a bit late, so we had to get back a little later and slept late, but Ivana was like, that was fun. You know, if that vlog does well and earns money, it's a bonus, because it was just fun to go to the game and they're playing drums. Dun -dun 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 it's just a fun experience. Speak something in Romanian, please. I will say for the bine, to the bine. I will say multi mask mercy. I will, what do you guys say? Speak something Romanian. What do you got? Forte bine is the best one. Forte bine. Delicious. Delicious. Delicious forte bine. Super. I also like super. Well, by the way, the inside of the restaurant is also very cool. Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's like traditional. You should consider North Macedonia and Bulgaria. Yeah, we have never been there. Hey, we will. Sounds but good. But it's getting cold in Europe, so. Dun, 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 dun. You want to no. be out of here? No, no. no. Before I have. No. Mm -mm. winter time. No. Mm. We're going to be what here right now. The thing is this the only thing we have to do that's important is we have to be in Brazil for World Cup, which starts mm. in November. Right. We could stretch it out to October here. 
Just put some pants on. What's the big deal? <laughs> That's true. There you go. Bradshaw for exemption vlog coming up. Just put some uh, pants on. It's finished. Uh, this is finished. finished. Thank you. Good. The plates Delicious. are clean. Oh, okay. Forte bene. Forte bene. Uh, the World Cup is in Qatar. Right, so I don't mean we're going to watch the games live in Brazil. I mean we're going to have Brazil as our second team and we will post um, post vlogs of the Brazilian fans watching the Brazilian games that are being played in Qatar. After Canada being oh, yeah. our number one team. By the way, uh, I noticed Romania also in Bucharest, it's more touristy now than before, than last year when we were here. More mm. tourists here this year. That might be a COVID factor. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The old COVID factor. Forte bini, forte boon. Forte boon. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Thank Yo, you. Yo, so nice. All the welcome back messages. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But who will you show? <gasps> Brazil against Serbia. Uh, oh. Did Serbia qualify for World Cup? Is that right? I didn't know Serbia qualified. Maybe this is a general question. No, no. I think Serbia might be in Brazil's group. Really? Yes! <gasps> Serbia's in Brazil's group. But you know what, Borjan Milan? What's his name? Milan? Milan Borjan. Yeah. He's, he's Serbian. Canadian. He's Canadian passport. But he's playing for the Canadian he's team. He's Canadian, Ivana. He's not Serbian. Canadian passport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is right. Serbia's in the group with Brazil. Ooh, snap. So, I have already stated that number one team is Canada, obviously. <laughs> that makes sense. Number two team was Brazil. But Brazil against Serbia, I cheer for a draw. Cheer, cheer for Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll cheer for Canada. If Canada somehow makes it out of the group stage, which is not impossible. Uh, Belgium is and, our biggest champion. And Canada faces Brazil. I mean, I'm hoping Canada wins, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. But my second team will be Brazil. But uh, third, I didn't realize Serbia, Serbia was also in. <laughs> Serbia is also in. My third team is Serbia, for sure. Yeah. Because Romania is not in, Malaysia is not in, Indonesia is not in, even Turkey. No. In 2002, Turkey came third place World Cup, and now they're not in it anymore? How does it happen? How does your team get yeah. so good to not even qualify? I don't yeah. know how that happens, but... Uh, yeah, Brazil is my... Uh, Cheers to Brazil. My second team. Selamat datang kembali di Romania. Uh, thank you welcoming us, Octavia. That's, uh, that's a Romanian name. Yeah, Romanian saying it's uh, Malayan Selamat datang kembali di Romania. Bahasa. I wonder if they use translator. Wow. I wonder if they did translation or if they just know it. It's a <laughs> good sentence. Some of the tongue. Nice. Welcome. Kambali is like back to. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back to. Welcome, back. welcome again to Romania. Welcome back to Romania. Wow, nice. Uh, very nice. Dun, 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 dun. We have so many good individuals in football. Yeah, like Serbia is good at football. So who's in Serbia's group? Serbia or Brazil? And who else? Because Serbia is, might go through. If, in, if, if Brazil is number one and Serbia is number two, yeah. they, go, they go through. Canada's got a really hard... Uh, you gotta watch Red Star again. Uh, maybe this time yeah, basketball. Basketball is very big in Serbia as well. Yeah. I don't know, is it... Switzerland and Cameroon. In, uh, oh. So Switzerland is a tough game, but Cam oh, Cameroon's also good too. They're super, they're super speedy. You guys the can wind. hear the wind. There's things flying out here. Yeah. There's cats running. Things are flipping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a real storm out here, guys. But yo, Serbia has a legitimate chance to go through, and uh, I will hereby declare Serbia my third team. <laughs> it's gonna be one Canada, two Brazil, because we're in Brazil, and three Serbia. Yeah. Done deal. We could stick around in Serbia and do the first half of the World Cup in Serbia. Oh, we can. They're in it. <laughs> I didn't realize they're in it. That will be wild, right? I think our, next thing you know, we're going to be in Romania for Christmas. <laughs> we'll never make it to Brazil. <laughs> so it happens. We make all these plans, and then we get to the first place and we go, we should stay here longer. <laughs> we'll never make it to Brazil. <laughs> we'll never make it to Brazil. That was like our plan to go to Rio. Remember our plan to go to Rio? Yeah. We now almost never made it to Rio. Uh, Canada 1, Germany 2, France 3. As the finals of the World Cup, I'll take it. Prediction? Serbia was so good in qualification. Yeah, same with Canada. Canada's group is hard, though. We got Belgium, who's second in the world right now, Croatia, and Morocco. What we needed in Canada, you need to be in Qatar's group. That's the easy group. 
because Qatar is only there because of the host team. Mm. So if you can get Qatar in your group, you can. Uh, but we got Belgium, go right? On. That's uh, number one. I mean, Belgium is so good. But what's good is Belgium is our first game, so we can get used to the speed. We can get our first loss, and then we can go win the next two and qualify. Kapan mau berhujung ke Padang? Oh, an Indonesian asked thing. When are you going to Padang? On our next visit to Indonesia, we must make it to Padang. The next visit to Indonesia, we're going to do longer. Yeah. Um, and we should do Sumatra. Sumatra, for sure. We should do Sumatra. Sumatra, Padang. Oh, now I'm craving for Nasi Padang. Darn, I'm craving for Nasi Padang. Yeah, man, it's good food. I can uh, still eat. The Adventure Sum says, if Canada makes it through the group stage, that's a win for us. If Canada just looks good, that's already... Honestly, I hate to say this. It's a bit of a defeatist mentality, but the fact that Canada qualified is already a win. So we got, That's our World Cup qualifying. We, we already got, did it. So we went to the football game in uh, Turkey. We have Attila. He is on a Turkish team, Peshtikash. Atiba. Uh, uh, Atiba. But he plays for the Canada, Canada national team. Yeah. And then in Serbia, we got Milan. The goalie of Serbia Red Star. Red Star. Belgrade Red Star. But he also plays for Canada. Canadian national team. National team. Goalie. So they're both Canadian, but they play yeah. in Europe. But so, so Canada has made the World Cup once before. Yeah. 1986. We scored exactly zero goals. Think, and we won exactly zero games. Didn't even score a goal. Is there any Romanian team that has Canadian in it? I don't think so. I don't no. think so. Because I think Romania people are pretty good at football already. Yeah. Uh, but if we can win one game, that's a huge win for us. Mm. To make it out of the group stage would be uh, would be unbelievable for Canada. I don't think we'll do it. I think we'll maybe sneak out a win against Morocco. The thing is, our team is good. We have all Division One players. Well, now some of them are Division One in North America. Well, MLS is kind of weak. I think if we play against Brazil, we'll be smoked. No, no, no. We're getting getting smoke by Brazil for sure. Smoke by Brazil. Even Belgium's gonna smoke us. But we <laughs> yeah. might be competitive with Croatia. We might be competitive with Morocco. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. To be clear, I don't know much about football. I just started cheering uh, about a year ago now. When we first came to Romania last year, about a year ago this month, that's when I started watching football. Because Romania's football was so yeah. good, I was like, we should watch this more. Steve, how much longer this live stream? No plans. <laughs> we have no plans. I'm getting cold. It's been you, 107 minutes already. We need to go get in the sun. Let me go pay the bill, and we'll go yeah. get in the sun. Yeah, sure. I'm cold, right? Yeah. We will win one man. I'll bet you on Tim Hortons. <laughs> he... Oh, do you know uh, Bianca Andrescu? A tennis player? Oh. Bianca Andrescu? What? Sounds Romanian. He uh, says Romanian Canadian. This is a tennis player. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hi from Sean. Hi, one day you are in Malaysia and then in Indonesia and now in Romania. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Uh, go inside. Car to test. Car to Rusty is nearby. Yeah, that's the famous library, right? The prettiest library I heard in Romania. I think we've been there last year. Uh, what internet provider do you use on your mobile? So we are using Vodafone right now. Uh, I think in Europe or in Eastern Europe, at least Romania and Serbia, Vodafone is the best one, I guess. It's been working pretty well for us uh, in Romania and Serbia as well. Uh, the adventure song. Ivana, want me to convince Steve on sponsorship? Yes, please, convince him. <laughs> He's very stubborn. Steve is a very stubborn person. So once he got an idea in his head, he'll stick to that. <laughs> it's very hard to change his mind. Very hard. <laughs> By the way, the adventure some you guys, you guys can, they're also YouTubers, our friends. They're in Bali right now. So have fun, you guys, in Bali. Go in the sun. I see you're cold. Yes, that's why I'm drinking this to keep me warm. Uh, Steve is paying for the bill right now, and then we'll walk around and uh, get back in the sun. <laughs> Steve, 
You can say what you want. We won't tell him. He already knows. <laughs> we is like, same with my husband. He's so stubborn. Times billions. <laughs> wow. Harry, Harry, I'm eating meat right now. Wow. Enjoy your meat. Mm. When will you go back to Malaysia? I miss your adventures in Malaysia. So probably in September because Steve's mom actually wants to visit Malaysia. So we will bring her along with us, Steve's mom, and she will try lots of Malaysian food. I cannot wait for her to try Malaysian food. Maybe rendang. Maybe we'll make her try durian again. The stinky fruits. So we'll do that in Malaysia in September. That's our, our goal, is September. Uh, hard choice, Papa Nasi or Kozonak? Ooh, I've only tried Kozonak once, actually. And I've had Kozonak shots. Actually, more than the cake itself. <laughs> and it's pretty good, Kozonak shots. Remember we had it in Fama Feke, Kozonak shots? Oh, I've seen And that does magic. Yeah, yeah. I will meet you in September. Oh, perfect Where? time. Where? Malaysia. Can. Perfect. Pole. Yeah. Pole jalan jalan. Nice. Okay, you want to go? Let's go walk into the oh, sunlight. I'm let cool. me finish my, oh my drink gosh. first. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Canada versus Germany in the World Cup final. Canada versus Canada Can abroad. That would be. I think Germany. Unbelievable I'm sorry. occurrence. I'm all for Canada. Canada cannot I'm go that far. I'm supporting Canada, but I think <laughs> Germany will smoke us. <laughs> I think so. I think so. You know what? I should have more. Uh, I should believe the Canadian team confidence. more. Yeah, I should faith. have more confidence in the Canadian team. Maybe we'll beat Germany. Maybe we'll win it. Maybe we'll win it all. I should have more confidence. We have one yeah. superstar player who is uh, of the top quality. And the rest of our team is good players, but not great. I There's know. teams in the World Cup that have six or seven superstar players. You know what I mean? So, unlikely we go that far, but... Still, I think our World Cup was or just qualifying. <laughs> just making it was did our Did you see inside? It's very nice. It's very nice inside. In the restaurant. I did get into an accidental argument with a guy inside. Yeah. Oh, how much is was the meal in USD? Someone was as, is asking. 150 lei. So... 100, about 30, 30, 30, 30 USD? 30 dollars? 30 USD? Yeah. I think so. What's in like Canada? 45? 45 USD? Yeah. 33 USD something like this? Yeah. The waiter here saw my jersey and he said, Rapid. And the way he said it, I thought he was also a Rapid supporter. Uh -huh. And so I said, number one. <laughs> and then he said, it's not number one. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I told what? him, I, said, I told Steve, I said, oh, before no. we left, you're wearing this jersey, it's gonna invite some fights on the street. <laughs> he said, it's not number one. I said, this number one. And he said, Stawa is number one. You know the team Stawa? He said, Stawa is number one. And that I said, FCSB, no? FCSB is number one. And I was like, uh oh, what did I do? Uh oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. I think Rebby is number one. He's like, no, no, Rebby is number one. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, one USD is five ron. Yeah, so if it's 150 ron, it's like 30 USD. 30, okay. Good way to start a conversation. Yeah, exactly. I really misread the situation. I thought he was a rapid guy. I said, number one. He said, no. I said, oh, uh oh. <laughs> that was funny. Um, it is number one, though. Like, in the right ranking. now, we're in first place. Yeah. But I think, I think it was more like a spiritual Team, number yeah, one. He's like, it's not number one. I said, yeah. okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> one Ron is almost equivalent to one RM. Yes. yes. Although the RM is going up past the Ron. Mm. Right? Not by a little bit. A little yeah. bit. A little bit. Uh, how many degrees is in Romania? Uh, it's in here's about 20. 20. Right here is 20. Yeah. But if you go up north, it's a lot more mountainous and you'll get a lot Cold, colder. Yeah. You'll get 15. Mihai. That's a Romanian name. Uh, where do you live? Oh, maybe it's expat. I figured you're not in Romania at the moment. Uh, Mihai, Georgi, Serban. FCSB the most popular, but Rapid the best. FCSB, oh, that's the most popular team. That's why. Uh, that's why the first game we went to was so good. It was it was Rapid versus FCSB. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was the top two maybe teams. When are you leaving Bucharest? Um, we're staying here for the next three days, I think. Yeah. 
in Bucharest and then we'll head to Brasov. Brasov and then we're going to Fish Creek? Fish Creek? Fish Creek? or Fresh Creek? Does the S have a thing no, on no, it? No, no, no. So Fish Creek. Fish Creek. Wait, I don't know if it is. But that's where uh, King Charles has his uh, holiday home. Did you do the Brasov hike? We did not do it last time because last time we were in Brasov, we got sick and we thought it was COVID. Yeah. And we were very nervous. We did at home tests, they're all negative, but uh, we were like very sick, both of us. Yeah. And so we didn't do much of anything. We are yeah. doing the Brishov Redemption, as yes. we Fung is saying in the chat. In yeah, Russia, we, we did stay with our friends, uh, Mihai. Yeah. And so we're Gigi. Doing the um, Brishov Redemption vlog. Yeah. Winter boots on. Look at the winter oh, boots. Oh, new shoes, look by the way. Look at the winter boots. Look at the winter boots. <laughs> Ooh, look at the winter boots. So uh, we're ready for it. Last year we were in sandals and, and you know, shorts with holes in my underpants. Well, it's cold out here. Well, no kidding, buddy. So we're going to do the re Bischoff Redemption. Okay, you want to move? I'm going to go to the uh, sun. Oh. Chug, 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 okay, chug, okay. chug, 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 chug. Don't chug if you don't want to. I drink fairly, fairly slow and just I enjoy. like to just enjoy. enjoy. Don't chug, don't chug. Just join. Name of the t-shirt color is Vision You. Huh? Okay, the name of the t-shirt is Vision You. Oh, Vision You. Vision You. Vision You Red. No, Vision You Rapid. Yesterday we had Formula One. Oh, wow, in Belgrade. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people in Europe love that racing stuff. I've never even watched one race. We have a famous one in Montreal, right? F1? I think so. My brother went. In Montreal? Yeah. I thought it was in... I thought it was Molson Indy in, Canada, in Toronto. No, Montreal. Have Molson Indy might be not F1. It might be um, something else. There's one in Montreal, right? Yeah. Makes sense because Montreal is a more European kind of city. Ephraim Flood uh, is saying, Love the shirt. I'm also a fan of rapping. Rappi, the rest are haters. <laughs> Uh, if Canada does not score in the football games, just bring in the players from Canada's hockey team. <laughs> oh, yeah. The game will be over at that point. Vision U is like Vision Yata, same color. Oh, uh, get it? Vision U. Vision U? Oh, is the drink. Like cherry. The drink we just cherry had. Color. Cherry. Uh, cherry. Cherry. Cherry color. Cherry. So uh, I'll just say this is cherry color. Cherry. Cherry color. Cherry. Yes. Rapid cherry. Yeah. The wine is now the wine is so close to the camera now on some cheers, Norok Scarpo. Norok. Grab grab a glass of wine and we'll Norok together. Norok. Ready? One, two, three, Norok. Ding. Boop. Uh maybe our maybe our visit in Romania helped Rapid because for a very long time they were uh, top of number one. Ah. Scarfo's got a beer, but it works. <laughs> Steve, spine a sponsorship with Holofly. Unlimited internet in Europe. Uh, guys, have an awesome day. We're heading out. Shout out to the Adventure Sum. Yes. Later, skaters. Have fun in Bali, guys. Bumba. In Indonesia, right? We are in Romania right now. It says in Indonesia night. Oh, yes. It's nighttime in Indonesia. Bit of a spam situation. <laughs> uh, last year which month were you in Brusov? Uh like now uh maybe around this time i think so yeah and then we went around rented a car from russia and we went around even made it to moldova and trans not transnistria and then went back and we drove a romanian car in transnistria and everyone was freaking out oh that's funny someone did a, a paparazzi i just saw steve in a vlog from last night what? he was trying to get some shots with the phone so someone else was oh filming gosh. me shooting. Can you send us the link? That's funny. I hope, because I have my allergy, I was like sneezing. Yvonne's picking her nose in the vlog, in the background. <laughs> I hope it's not when I was like blowing my nose or anything. <laughs> oh, that's good. Say, uh, let us know what... Um... We really got to watch our act here. Yeah, I know. Hey, people are watching us in, 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 in Bucharest. We yeah. gotta, we gotta. Don't pick your butt. Or don't something. pick. Yeah, don't pick your wedgie on, in the middle of the street. <laughs> Gonna go viral for all the wrong reasons, you know. Uh, I'll tell the minute. Yeah, thanks, Garfo. Uh Bordura, you don't have Nightbot on your channel. I don't know what Nightbot is. Protects against spam and advertise your links. That's a good idea. I want to get a Nightbot. Huh. Put every five minutes or every ten minutes, put a link that says "click here to join our sponsor, Moderna membership." That would really work. Yeah. Looking at the night, but thank you, Bordura. Uh, 
www.nightbot.com. I'll find it. Okay, done. Let's go. Let's go. Does anyone from Romania come to Belgrade? Oh, you're a pride. Okay. It was pride yesterday in Belgrade. Happy pride. Scarfo will send it on Insta. Okay, thanks, Scarfo. Good. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Forte bun. Forte bun. <laughs> Forte bun. Uh, I still need to learn the difference between bun and buna. Do you know Ivana? Yes, bun and buna. I think it's bun. Buna might be in Brazil. Portuguese? Buna is the thing you say to say hello. Oh, yeah. Hello is buna. buna. is like good day. Yeah. Bun is just good, maybe. But it also could be a masculine feminine thing happening here. Oh, with the, maybe. With the, uh, a chair is bun, but a table is buna. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Boon is masculine, Buna is feminine. Am I Romanian or what? I just know these things. It's just, it just, it's just intuitive to me how this language works. Okay? Or should we go here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, the sun on my Euros. skin feels like a hundred million bucks. Okay, let's spin the camera out here. Get off our, uh, our faces for a minute. Oh my gosh, feel the sun. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sun. Thank you for all your, thank you for all your life that you provide. Oof. Okay, we got 200 thumbs up. We got 130 people in the chat. We got a whole bunch of donations and we got a two hour live stream going. Dude, that's a long live stream. Time flies by. I love these live streams. They're so nice because uh, the, the people watching, the people watching are the ones who drive the chat. It's all about the fans. Listen, Ivana knows I like air conditioning, but I love the fans. <laughs> all right, that was a pretty bad joke. Uh, what's your plan, Ivana? Where are you going? Just walking, okay. Just walking. Here's a nice, uh, oh, a Fendi donor. Turkish kebab restaurant. Looks yummy. Looks yummy. Uh, you can see, this is the amount of action there is here. And this is a Sunday. So I would guess yesterday on a Saturday would have been more. Especially Saturday night. Thank you. Especially yesterday night would have been a party here. And now everyone's just eating the, eating the meat with the, with the grease in it eating the greasy meat as a way to um, soak up all their bad choices from last night. Uh, what a place to be. And it's kind of nice in here because the streets are so narrow. No, thank you. Because the streets are so narrow, uh, there's no wind or less wind because outside it's crazy windy. So we are really doing it right now. Where are you going, says Rebecca. Uh, yeah. I was gonna ask you, Rebecca. I, I was gonna ask you, where are we going? You're, you're our tour guide. You're the me. guide. You tell us. Uh, not really hungry. What do we want to do? Hungry? Not really. Drink more alcohol? No. Uh, um, library? Pretty's library? Library? You want this idea was a library? No, just me was saying go oh. to the Pretty's library. Now I understand. Yeah. I thought you, just, you had an idea naturally. Let's go to the library. And I was no, like, this no, is the first no. time the I ever heard library in Romania. Kapish, 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 kapish. We can go to the. Um, we can go to the library. I didn't. I didn't realize that. I might have been in the bathroom for that. Uh, yes. Uh, comment. What is the best Romanian sweet? What is the best Romanian sweet? Uh, Dessert. Oh, the one you had. Tapanas. No, oh, no, the one you had. Kurtos. Kurtos is good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Chimney cakes. Chimney cake was da. good. Da. 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 Chimney cake Kurtos. was really good. Uh, you Papa, will see... Papa Nasi, I only had it once. I want to try it again, Papa Nasi. Oh, it's Papa Nasi again? The donut. Romanian donut. With sour cream on top of something. Oh, oh, by the way, Romania has this dessert that looks like lasagna, but it's sweet. Yeah, sweet yeah. lasagna. Yeah, what is that again? Like we never sweet, tried it yet. Sweet lasagna. We saw it at one <laughs> restaurant. Everybody in the whole restaurant ordered this dessert when they finished their meal. Yeah. And it was like lasagna. It was noodles. It was noodles, and it was sweet I just lasagna. Want, I just want to prove to you this is the restaurant. This is the restaurant over there. I already know it's the restaurant over there. <laughs> Are you right? Oh yeah, yeah. I should never argue with Ivana over the uh, directions because she's way better than me at directions. Um, Kurtos is Hungarian. Uh oh, we did a bad thing. The thing was, we were up near the Hungarian border in Oradia and we got a Kurtos and it was very yummy. You are going towards Chelsea Victoria. Okay. Uh, 
Yes, well, up towards the Hungarian border, yes. Um, Kartoresti for some tea. Kartoresti is the library. I don't know, just me is saying we can go for some tea. That's a good idea because I can't drink anymore. I'm, I'm already, uh, I mean, it's, it's like 2 p.m. over here, 3 p.m. And I'm down to not eat anymore. Tea is the right idea. Uh, if anyone can direct us to... The library. The library. <laughs> Ivana thinks the restaurant is this way that we ate to. This is not where the restaurant was, Ivana. It's oh, it's not here. Oh, oh, say it. Say well, it. I don't think it's there say either. It. I'll show you exactly where the restaurant is. You guys know the restaurant. It's one of the most famous restaurants in the old town. It's super old. It's relatively expensive. It's really, it? it's really nice. It's like a famous restaurant. It's guaranteed it's over there. I was pretty sure it's right here. Like no. a 200 years old restaurant. It's a 200 year old restaurant. It's definitely over there. Definitely, Ivana. Ah. Uh, have you had pancakes in Romania? No. No. But I think this is the one I was talking about earlier, the green cart. It's a very famous pancake place. Uh, I would check it out. Maybe not now, I'm full now. But this is the one I was thinking of. Look, it says pancakes on it. You got pancakes. You know? This is the pancake place I was talking of. Go left for Katarishi. Hold on, hold on. This is the pancake thing I was talking about. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where to go, but I have no idea. This is the restaurant we eat at, Ivana. No, it's not. Let's go there. Ivana doesn't believe me. This is the restaurant. So now I have to go all the way down here just to prove to her that this is the restaurant we ate with Catalina and Georgie. Oh, this is cut right here. I don't know. Ah, that's it. That's a bookstore. It's right there. That's it. Make a left. Make a left. Maybe it's over there. Yeah, it's over. No, no, it's over there. Straight. This is cut right here, babe. No, but they have a prettier one over there. Oh, no. The chat, there's so many. Ivana. There's at least 25 different people giving 25 different directions and it's very hard right now. It's not that one! This is not Kartarashti. Oh, you mean the place with the sign that says Kartarashti? I know, understand. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know, understand. <laughs> so I'm right, this is the place with the restaurant, Ivana. Everyone's agreeing with me, this is the restaurant. Right uh, yeah, here. I think that you're is, making it that up. That is literally the restaurant. You want to go see? Yes. Oh, go. Ivana doesn't believe me. I'm telling you, Ivana, this is the restaurant we ate at, right there. How do you not believe me? What is it called? I don't know the name. I know where it is. It's right there. No way. Actually, now I'm getting closer. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> yes, that was the restaurant. The chat is saying I'm right. What? Where we ate with Kathleen and Georgie. And it was the day Kathleen got his second vaccine. <laughs> He's feeling a bit sick that day. Karu Kubere. Yes, that's the restaurant. That's it right there. That's literally it. We're looking at it. Hold on, hold on. You're looking at it right now. <laughs> oh, Ivana. Yo, this is the, this is the thing. Stubborn lady, I it's, it's so obvious that I, it's so obvious that I'm right, and she's still going like no 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 no. She's gonna see the sign that says that says the name of the restaurant. She's gonna say no, I have to go inside to make sure it is okay, Ivana. That's it right there. That's the restaurant. It says Sarai. Don't you read? Oh shit! It says Sarai. It does say Sarai. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Is this Kartu to Betty? I thought that was it, babe. If the chat can help us out, maybe they change the names to Sarai. Because I remember this. Ivana says Steve is stubborn and Steve says Ivana is stubborn. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really thought this was it right here, Ivana. Can someone help us in the chat? Is Sarai the old Karu Chubere? I think they closed. What's it called? Karu Chubere, right? Karu Chubere. This is Karu Chubere. No, 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 no. It's on the other side of the building, on the left. On the other street. Come on, I was right. You were not right, Ivana. That's what I just said. On the next street, or turn left. Pause, pause, pause. Ivana, come here, pause. Pause. Read the comments. They're saying it's over there. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> it's on the other street. 
Everyone's saying it's on the other street and it's close. It's not close. Okay. Yo, before we get any tea, we need to find Carlo Chabani because <laughs> this is it. This Sarai is a straight up imposter. This Sarai, is, this is Carlo Chabani right there. I can, I know it is. Shoot, different place. Now Yvonne is caught walking away. Uh, so to all the people, oh, sorry guys. Steve, you're wrong. Uh-oh. So, to all the people saying use Google Maps, we only got one cell phone between two of us, and the cell phone is the camera you're looking through. So there's no opportunity for Google Maps. This is why we're crowdfunding, the uh, crowdsourcing the map. And let me tell you, we are lost as lost can be. Do it in front. Oh my God, people are freaking out in the chat. Listen guys, this is what happens when you have a little bit of that uh, vision. You have to you get a little bit overconfident. I swear that was Karo Chibete, but uh, maybe not. Go left and left again. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Ivana, which way do you want to go? If you were, if you were going to be, you want to go that way for Karo Chibete. Which way do you want to go? My first spot was, I think, the correct one. But <laughs> maybe it's good. <laughs> Is it right? <laughs> Is it right? They're saying go left for Karo Chibete from here. This, this way. Ask someone on the street. Why don't you just ask somebody, babe? Maybe we'll just ask somebody. Hey, man. Make a left now. They're saying make a left. They're saying make a left for Cabo Right here. This is where Cabo Chabete is. Which is, by the way, what I've been saying all along. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, this isn't right. All right. I'm over it. Oh, it's Pedestrian Sunday. Is it? Let's go on the road, dude. <laughs> Oh, good job, guys. This is actually the best type of being lost. You stumble into the sunshine. The sunshine, and it's a uh, pedestrian Sunday. This is just right, man. This was actually our first day in Romania. Was here. Yeah. With Catalin. No, first day in Bucharest. First day in Bucharest. Oh, yeah, first day in Romania was Timmy Shora. Good point. But this was our first day in Bucharest. By the way. Uh, Bucharest is one of the cities where the, the local name, Bucharesti, is so fun to say. I really prefer the local name, Bucharesti. Can you hear me? It's very windy right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh my no. gosh. It's windy out here. Something's going on at the front end. Wind, 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 wind. Some medieval thing. Oh, jeez. Let's go check it out. I oh, see, uh... Are we in the show? Oh, okay. Some kind of medieval thing here. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Could be cool. Okay. So down here is Kao Chibeti. That's it right there. That's the restaurant. That's the restaurant. Right. Oh my gosh. What's happening over here? Yo, the wind is unbelievable. But there's people having a freaking sword fight over here. What the heck? What the heck? The, the Dacian barbarians. Oh my gosh. Something is going on here. <laughs> uh -huh. Dacians and Romans. So these, these guys over here are the Dacians because they look like they look like like less organized. Their shields are made of wood and stuff. And these guys in blue are the Romans. Yo, the weather is crazy right now. Oh, I think the Romans are winning, guys. I think the Romans are winning, guys. But the Dacians are putting up a good fight. Wee says that guy has 16 legs. Oh, come on, Wee. Come on. This is a historical reenactment, Wee. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here because the wind is crazy. Let's go back, let's go back. Let's go. Okay, that was a good uh, that was a good detour actually. <laughs> we comes in with sexy legs comment. <laughs> historical reenactment of the proudest moment in Romania's history, okay? Come on, talk about legs. 
Left now and left again. Okay, so this is Kaucha Bede, which means uh, I would say I was closer Karuchi than you. Bere. Try again, try again, try again, try again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Try again. Karuchi Bere. Try again. Why? Because you're not doing it right. Karuchi Bere. <laughs> Karuchi Bere. Ivana, Karuchi Bere, okay? Karuchi Bere. Karuchi Bere. Ivana. Ah, this one. Karuchi right Bere. Here. So we were both wrong. Uh, I was pretty close. No, you weren't. No. I was pretty close. I was off by one road. Me too. No, you weren't. You were at the whole the other side of town. Uh, I don't know. Similar to the other one. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice, right? Oof. All right, Ivana. What's your plan right now? No plan. Oh, Ivana. Ivana. Walk a bit more and then. It's Karul Kuberi. Chu, not Ku? No, not Chu, Ivana. I never said Chu once. I said Ku the whole time. You didn't hear me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might have been telling the fib. This is definitely the restaurant. Karul Kuberi. They have. We had Meech. We had Meech in here and we had Palinka and we had a very nice, uh, very nice meal from 1879, 150 years old. Holy jumping. Okay, Ivana, we've, we've, we're over two hours live streaming. Yeah. Uh, what's your plan right now? Okay, let's end it at the church. End it at the church. Okay, we're gonna go to the church and we're gonna have a big finish. Don't leave yet, guys. We, we've got a very special finish plan, okay? Church right here. This is church right here. Uh, we did have a plan to go to the library and get tea, but we're gonna abandon that plan because, uh, because, well, because we're lazy, quite honestly. Wow, nice looking church, no? Uh, Wee's plan is to start ironing some school uniforms soon. That sounds very exciting. Nice looking church, no? Yeah. I think it's also old. Okay, guys. We have got a good, a good comment here. Cool. Oh, Chu in Romanian, Ku in English. Oh, so does Kaluciberi. Yeah. No, ku, ku. Not chu. Okay, so karu kubere. Choo choo. <laughs> karu kubere. Ferdinand coming in with the choo choo. <laughs> the beer wagon. Very confusing. <laughs> choo. Karu kubere. I like people write C U U U U in all caps as if we know what that means. <laughs> Shout out to Linnea in the live stream. Hello. Can you hold this? I did get some new shoes recently and they are hurting my foot. Okay, hold on. You go ahead. I'm gonna take my shoe off here. <laughs> Don't film me taking my shoe off, everybody. Take somewhere else. Fixing these shoes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is the restaurant. Ooh, what do you guys think about? the Romanian architecture in Bel oh, Bucharest Old Town. Best cheap meat and easy to get is at Kaufland. Huh. Interesting. They have grill outside. Ooh. Kaufland meat. Karuchu Kubere. Horse cart with beer. Interesting name. Okay, this is Stravropolis Church. Very old. Cool. We have actually never been inside. Maybe we should go in. Let me just go in here. Let's see. Let's go in with the crowd. Kaufman is a supermarket. Just showing you guys this church. Oh, talk to you next Sunday, Shaw. Thanks for being here. This is the yard of the church. 
300 years old church. Wow. It's so beautiful. Wow. Pancake in Romania is similar to crabs in the USA. Nice. Mickey, thanks so much. Love your super love live stream. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see the inside of the church. I showed it to you a little bit, but there were a lot of people in the church. It's very small, so I did not go in. But look at the painting. We went to Bukovina last year and the monasteries there are gorgeous, so beautiful. And I just love all the paintings at the church. Okay, just showing people. I don't want to be too loud in the church. Oh, here it is. Okay, you guys. I try to I try to keep quiet inside the church there. All right, we're back on the street. There you go. Beautiful church. It's very small. It's 300 years old. You hurt my bunions. Oh no. Is it the right size that you bought? <laughs> <laughs> Steve's shoes, the old one got holes underneath his shoes. So he got to buy a new one yesterday. Listen, that's a nice church, but these shoes hurt my bunions. <laughs> hey, you're getting old. Oh yeah. Old Orthodox Church. Okay, so. Okay, Ivana. Do you have anything more to just share with the people? Or should we do our big finish? Mm, we'll do our big finish. Okay, you go ahead. Next week, we'll do another live stream. Every Sunday, guys. Every Sunday, come check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, what was our big finish again? I don't know. I made up the big finish together. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Vlog tomorrow, Rabbi Bugarashti. Yeah. Uh, vlog Tuesday. Cluj. Cluj. Seconding and then offer. we'll be back to normal schedule. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Live stream Sunday. Later, Thanks skaters. guys for being here. Thank Love you, you to all. all the donators. Yeah. Uh, sorry we had a half an hour discussion over the lack of sponsorships. But that just <laughs> happened naturally. And okay. thank you for the donators. Kiss me, you. Kiss me, you. Park is very cool. All right, well. Maybe we'll check it out. Thank uh, you no guys rock. all. No Thank rock. you for being here. No rock. Keep safe and healthy and happy. Thanks guys. Love you all. See you on the next live stream. Bye bye.